when you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, a lot of weird things happen. Some you can handle, some you can't. Like when Master Splinter went missing after our victory over the Shredder. How could he be gone? And things only got weirder when we found that aliens had taken Master Splinter. Look, and had him floating in some bizarre container. When we confronted the aliens, I can't move my feet! Everything just vanished. Or maybe we did. Whatever happened, I don't think any of us were prepared for how much weirder life was about to get. Bravo team to base. We've got that fugitoid cornered in Sector 4. Roger. Bag him and tag him, Bravo. General Blank wants it in one piece. Oh, that was unpleasant. <gasps> Take cover! This future toy's got some kind of secret weapon! No, I don't! <sighs> oh, I feel like I've been turned inside out and back again. What happened? That light! The strange lab! Those weird robot aliens! Where'd they go? You mean, where'd we go? Someplace I don't think we're supposed to be. Natives don't look too friendly. I think our best defense might be some serious butt kicking ninja action. Yeah! Fire at will! Today, Chumley! Hey! Yeah. Bravo to base! We need backup! My word! Those fellows are making short work of these troops! But I still need a way out of here. Hmm. One benefit of this robotic body is its sheer strength! Oh! I can't just run out on those little guys. They've been ever so helpful. What the shell was that all about? Whatever it was, it's not over. Look! Well, guys, fight or flight? I vote fight. You always vote fight. Um, excuse me. Hello? Terrapin beings? Yes, you. This way, quickly. Ready? Aim! Fire! Federation troops won't give up the chase so easily. Come and dress, love them! Uh. Another dead end! And here comes the unwelcome wagon. Quick! Into that truck! No, I hate heights! How do you feel about laser guns? 
Down, down, and away! I don't like these! Uh, Alpha to base. Um, we lost the fugitoid. You what? Search the entire sector! Find that fugitoid! Oh, where are we? Something tells me this ain't Manhattan. I'm not even sure we're on Earth. Ah, Earth! Is that your home planet? I don't believe it's in this galaxy. At least I've never heard of it. Are you the dominant species on your planet? Where are we? Calm down, son. You're on the planet Dahunib in the Sidiom system. Federation territory. A different galaxy? Master Splinter is so far away. So helpless. We have to help Master Splinter. <sighs> we'll find a way, Leo. We don't even know how we got zapped here in the first place. That question has been vexing me. How did you materialize like that? Guys, you can compare theories later. Right now, we've got company! Ugh, <sighs> more of those bozos. Don't look now, but those bozos brought a tank! How come bad guys always have all the great toys? with your appendages where we can see them. Fan out! Search the street! Check out these fancy sewers! Clean enough to eat off of. If only we had something to eat. Whoa. Bizarro world. So, what is your story? Why are those soldiers after you? Hmm, yes, I do owe you a full explanation. You see, I am Professor Honeycutt. Or at least, I used to be. I was the most brilliant scientist on Dahunib. I had just completed my Mentor Wave helmet, a device for boosting mind powers, like telepathy and telekinesis. When I was rudely interrupted by General Black, just because he's the head of the Federation military in this sector, he thinks he can call any time he wants. You see, the good general wanted me to build my teleportal device, a device capable of transporting beings from planet to planet. I invented the teleportal as a way to promote peace, but General Blank had other ideas. He wanted to use it as a weapon for death and destruction. And that is why, even though he was funding my work, I could never build it for him. It was then that I received a distress call from my worker robot, Sal. Oh! He had become entangled in some wires. An electrical storm was brewing. And we were struck by lightning. Oh! The lightning must have triggered my Mentor Wave helmet. My body was destroyed, but my mind was transferred into Sal's robotic shell. 
Apparently, the good general had been constantly spying on me and was well aware of my transference into this robot body. He was overjoyed. You see, robots have no rights. The general could do anything he liked with me now. The teleportal I wouldn't give him when I was human, he could take from me now that I became a robot. He sent his men after me. But with the help of some large hermit crab-like creatures, I was able to elude blank soldiers. At least, until I came to the city. Which is where you came in. Guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That an extra large serving of Kung Pao chicken would be really good right now? The professor's teleportal, right? Right. If the professor here can build his teleportal, then we could use it to go home. Oh. Uh, don't get me wrong, Professor Roboto. These sewers on your planet are nice, but they don't have that same sewer fresh stank our sewers have. How do they keep these sewers so clean? Probably something to do with that? technology at our disposal, we can't find one blasted fugitoid! General Blank, there's a disturbance in the sewers. Wait, we've got them, sir. Sector 8. General Blank to all units, cordon off Sector 8! Destroy the four Terrapin creatures, but the fugitoid must be unharmed! Repeat, the robot must be unharmed! If you'll forgive my asking, sir, what is so important about this teleportal device? It's useful transportation, but... It's much more than that. It holds the key to the balance of power in our galaxy, if not the universe. As a weapon, the teleportal is unparalleled. It could be used to secretly transport our newest nuclear fusion bomb into the middle of enemy spacecraft. Into the center of unsuspecting enemy cities. Even to the center of an enemy planet. I could bring our enemies to their knees and raise the Federation flag across the entire galaxy! But our enemies, if they knew about this technology, they'd stop at nothing to get it. Exactly. The teleportal must be ours. The fugitoid must be captured. These soldiers are everywhere. Indeed. We've got to get out of the city fast. Raphael, we're gonna need some transportation. Back in two. Um, 
I'll keep an eye on him. Now to find something to eat. Sewer entrance were we supposed to be watching again? Yeah! Yo, pal! Ugh. Mind if I borrow your tank? so well. Hey, that's my tank! They stole my tank! Yeah, real invisible. <laughs> Donnie! Return fire! Uh, in a minute. My Dahunibian is a little rusty. You better figure out how to fire this puppy, or we're gonna be smoked turtle meat in a can. Perhaps I can be of some service? One of the perks of this robot body. Yes, I have weapons control. Tell me you're not playing chicken, Raph. A turtle is never a chicken. Now, Doc! Fire! on our tail. Not for long. There's one more up ahead. Fire! Move it! Imbeciles! I thought I gave the order that the Fugitoid should not be harmed! They're not here, sir. They must have evacuated the vehicle before it exploded. Find them, soldier. Find them. Now, where did those little fellows go? Ah, how do you know all those wonderful disappearing techniques? Deploy all units! Destroy anyone or anything that gets in the way! Hunt down that fugitoid and bring it to me! Do you have the information we discussed? If you have the grease... Look in the box. in pleasure gems. Enough for a lifetime. First things first, my friend. <laughs> my 
my superiors are very interested in the teleportal. Tell me everything you know about this Fugitoid. Everything. we've seen in the last hour. Don't those guys have anything better to do? Yeah, like eat? Oh, I know. Poor baby. You're hungry, aren't you? We got an entire alien army looking for us, and you're talking to your stomach? Well, it's talking to me. It's saying, food. Food. More than food. We need an escape plan. We need to get off this planet quickly and quietly. And that means smugglers. I believe I know of one particularly sleazy inn where we just might obtain off-world transport. Sounds like a plan. Lead on, Professor. General Blank, all squads are on full alert, sir. Viz images of the alien lifeforms in the Fugitoid have been posted all over the city. We'll find them. We had better destroy the four aliens for all I care. Turn their shells into serving trees. But bring me that fugitoid. Yes, sir. Speak. Still no sign of the fugitoid, Commander Mozar. But we'll find him. However, I'm afraid that a teleportal is worth much more than what you've paid me. Your greed disgusts me. However, you will get whatever monies you wish. The Triceraton Republic shall have the teleportal. It shall give us great victories. I must have that fugitoid. Doesn't exactly look like your kind of place, Professor. Um, well, I'm very partial to the Dehanibian spicy cheese disc they serve here. At least, I used to be. Whoa, alien pizza, what a concept. We can't just walk in there. Our pictures are everywhere. Maybe it's time for the ninjutsu art of disguise. Wear this? I can't! What? It should fit just fine. These colors clash with my headband. It's a fashion nightmare! Mikey, there's food in there. Food. It better be worth it. Ah! Huh. Stomach, you and me are gonna party. Huh. Excuse me, Garçon. Um, I'll have what he's having. Delicious. Extraordinarily piquant. Hey, beautiful. Are you a library book? Because I'm checking you out. <laughs> I'm not a library book. You're new here. I like that in a woman. 
So, what's your viz screen number? Um, five, 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 kick in the head? Calling about those chill wearing green skin life forms and a fugitoid? General, sir! The fugitoid and the off worlders have been sighted! Well, finally! Have all units in that sector move in! Commander Mozar, they've been located. I do believe these fine gentlemen can help us. We can do better. Everybody, freeze in the name of the Federation! Man, they'll let anybody in this place. Because I'm beautiful. Troopers, attack! I hear the food here is extraordinarily piquant. Hard to find the on switch. Oh dear, they've got us surrounded. Take out this alien trash, but don't target the fugitoid. On my order. Find the fugitoid. Destroy the rest. To victory. Oh my! Hey, who invited the dinosaurs? Triceratons? A ruthless and warlike race. They're the sworn enemies of the Federation. I simply can't imagine what they're doing here. <laughs> General, we are under attack by Triceratons! Repeat! We are under attack by Triceratons! Triceratons? On a Federation planet? They've gone too far. Take them all out! Yes, sir! We're... Uh, we're trying, sir! We need a way out of here! Finally! I'm on it! Structurally sound. All aboard the Turtle Express! Look out!
Triceratons are escaping with the Fugitoid! If the Triceratons get their hands on the teleportal, it, it'll be the end of everything. Scramble the troops! Full pursuit! We have to get that Fugitoid back! Ready, my commando squad? I'm leading this one personally. Come on! They're getting away! Hey, guys! Check this out! That bucket of bolts? Oh, ye of little faith. Control. think so. We lost the professor. We'll never find him now, which means we'll never get home. We failed ourselves. We failed Master Splinter. Lighten up, Leo. We'll find a way. We always do. Well, I took the liberty of attaching a turtle tracker to our little metal friend. Nice work, Donnie. What was that? Fighting. Nearby. Come on! Uh, just once, I wish we were running away from the explosions. What if we 
you've stepped into this time. Guys, the future toy's in there somewhere. It's rescue time. <laughs> Stinking Triceratons! I want them obliterated! All units, full attack! The Federation shall fall! We shall hatch our brood in the ruins of their cities! Commander, we have the future toy secured inside! Excellent. All troops fall back and prepare for dust off. The Hornheads are booking! Come on! <laughs> These blasters are way cool. I don't understand. Why would a bunker have a cargo bay? Maybe because it's not a bunker. That Triceraton ship must not be allowed to leave the planet! Planetary defense, ready tractor beams. Federation ships are powering up tractor beams. Activate the ion burn, but that will use up all of our fuel. It is the only way! Do it! Check this out! We're in space? Get away from there, guys! Triceraton Republic will have it, one way or another. Ensign, I want this scout ship inventoried and inspected for damage when we land. The hole's been breached. 
Sir! Stowaways! This chamber had no atmosphere. They can't possibly be alive. Get your paws off me, you ugly freehorn dinosaur. Alive? But how? It's called Qi Gung, internal breathing. Our ninja training teaches us how to slow our breath and heart rate, enabling us to survive the loss of atmosphere. For a while, anyway. I don't know about you, bros, but now I'm ready for a taste of good old oxygen. <laughs> oxygen? We Triceratons breathe a hearty mixture of nitrogen and sulfur. <laughs> Take them away for interrogation. And get me four atmosphere converters. Behold! The Triceraton homeworld! Glorious, is it not? Council awaits. I can offer you protection from your Federation pursuers, plus full rights as a citizen of the Triceraton Republic. You need no longer be a fugitive robot. That's very kind of you, Prime Leader Zandramon, but I cannot in good conscience build a device that could potentially be used for such destructive purposes. You will be crushed into submission! I mean... <clears throat> My friend, the Triceratons only seek stability, not conquest. Your teleporter will be a weapon of peace, not war. I only wish I could believe that. Please excuse us, Prime Leader, but we found something on the scout ship. This had better be good, Ensign. Put it on screen. We discovered these stowaways in the hold and... <gasps> The turtles? Here? How? You know these creatures? Please, don't harm them. As you wish. Keep the creatures alive, Ensign. For now. Let's skip the diplomacy, shall we? You have one orbital cycle to begin work on your teleportal. If you refuse, your friends will be executed. <laughs> Straight. And 
here, I thought you were just born that way. Oh, a wise guy. <laughs> Oops. No one touches Rhinoch. <gasps> hey! Raph, we gotta keep a low profile. <laughs> You don't want to mess with Reinock. He's the king of this cell block. I'd make nice with him if I were you. Now remember, desserts are the main commodity on the inside. You can use them to buy and sell just about anything. No way anyone's getting my dessert. You, wax detail. I want to see that floor shine. Those are the desserts over there. That's the floor wax dispenser. Floor wax? <laughs> Not off to a good start, are we? It'll get worse when they realize your friend just hurled in the salad bar. <laughs> What am I to do? If I build my teleportal, I can help the turtles return to their home planet. On the other hand, I can't put the most dangerous weapon in the galaxy in the hands of those horrible Triceratons. Yet, I can't let them execute those poor little fellows. Oh, I should have never designed the teleportal device in the first place. Up our escape plan. I got. What did you guys swipe? I got a cup. I got some floor wax. Uh, uh, I got a rock. All oh, right, like we're gonna use floor wax to bust out of here. Maybe. If my theory is correct about its chemical composition, mix this with a little soot. Add a drop of moisture, and you've got a crude but effective smoke bomb. Yes! I love it when I'm right. I've been timing the cell block gate. Once it's open, there's a five second delay before the lock resets. Once we get past that, we can access the drainage system. That'll get us into the exercise yard. From there, we stick to the shadows and scale the outer wall. We still need to lift a guard's key card. That'll require a distraction. Finally, something I'm good at! Then it's settled. We go tonight. Six hours. Showtime, bros. Hold up. We got trouble. Give it up, weaklings. Hand over yours, freak. Who you calling freak? Freak? No one touches Rhinoch! Wrath, please <laughs> don't! Wait, this should be good. have spunk. They'll make prime candidates for the games. I've seen enough! Take him to solitude! 
military! Get your hands off me! All right, plan B. We can still make it into the drainage system from solitary. We just need to spring Raph first. But how do we get close enough to a guard to swipe his key card? If a prisoner's really sick, they have to take him to the infirmary, right? How do you make that convincing? Huh? No. No way. Oh, come on, guys. Oh. Really sick. Fools, that trick won't work in here. <laughs> Disgusting. Their key card, Donnie? I thought you were gonna get it. <laughs> Raph better appreciate this. I'm not touching that key card. At least not any more than I have to. Resets. Move! Oh, you try moving after losing your lunch! Now, if I read my Triceratonese correctly, this should be where they're holding Wrath! We should see what's behind door number two. Ha! At least it's not a total loss. Hey, what do you think? That I don't want to know where those brushes have been. Not exactly katanas, but... What took you guys so long? Something came up. Actually, a lot of something came up. Trust me, you don't want to know. You bring me a weapon at least? Come on. We can access the drainage system this way. Professor Honeycutt, your time is up. Now watch as the first of your friends is executed before your very eyes. You could have saved them. Gone. Guards! Congratulations, guys. We just made early release. <laughs> Prisoners! What do you 
know. These things clean all kinds of toilets. Yeah! Yeah! Hiya, Triceraton! Away! Hey, not bad for a bunch of cleaning supplies. Set your blasters on stun! The Prime Leader wants them alive! If we're gonna go down, we're gonna take a piece of them with us! Words come down from the top. They're to be shipped off to the games. So, what exactly are these games? For you off-worlders, certain doom! <laughs> as if your friends aren't going to make it. Of course, if you were to agree to build the teleportal device for me, I could stop the match. Set your friends free. I've already told you, I won't do it. I can't. <clears throat> well then, let's watch as your four friends are torn to pieces in the arena. And no, you could have saved them. Hang tight, bros! Incoming! Wait a minute, Rez! Wait a minute! Those little guys are fighting back! Do you think we heard it? Not enough. <laughs> the elasticity of its flesh is too uh, resilient. And it's really rubbery, too. Guys, we gotta run. No way. I never run. Come on, follow my lead. Don't forget, folks, this event is co-sponsored by Rad Sam's Yum Stuff, makers of the best meat food on a stick treat in this galaxy or any other. Check it out, Ted. I 
didn't know the Spatmosaur could move that fast! Radar just clocked it at 97 croutons per heli! Here comes Ugly! Now everybody, when I say jump, jump! As the boys would say. <laughs> My friends seem to have broken your statue, Prime Leader. So sorry. <laughs> I want those four off-worlders destroyed! Destroyed, do you hear me? No, wait. I have an even better idea. Something very cruel. The turtle be me! Look, if it's about wrecking that big statue, it was all his idea. Defeat a spasmosaur, and now they're about to be blasted into extinction! Not quite, Rez. By order of Prime Leader Zanramon, these turtles, as they're called, will be back tonight for at last warrior standing free for all! A spasmosaur is one thing, said, but going up against our trained tri gladiator champions is another! <laughs> An elevator would have been nice. Say much about the decor or our new roommates. Ew. It's just another kind of prison. Exactly. Which is why we need to start figuring another way out of here. There's only one way out, Offworlder, and you will find it soon enough. <laughs> you newbies will not survive to see tomorrow's dawn. You are slaves now, like the rest of us. The games will be the end of us all. Who's Mr. Sunshine? That is Traximus the Mighty, undefeated champion of the games. You would do well to address him with respect. Listen up, meat. Tonight, you slaves shall have the honor of fighting for the amusement of our beloved Prime Leader. I want you all to die well and with much aplomb. Do you hear me, Meat? Yes, Master Gruel. Gruel, nice name. Hmm, I seem to be missing something. Ah, yes. Practice dummies. You four turtles will be my new dummies. You calling me a dummy? Wouldn't be the first time, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! You won't be laughing for long. Turtles! Shock staff practice! Remember practice, dummies! No hands! Commence! Somebody's grandma? I don't know. We fought tougher grandmas than this. Stop! Enough! Weapons practice with extra rations to any gladiator that can take these four off-worlders down! You too, slave! Things look pretty ugly. 
That's just Mikey. I'm afraid you must be mistaken, bro, because I was voted most likely to brighten any room with my smile. <laughs> well, good luck brightening this one. for so long, I had almost forgotten what it was like to fight with honor. I don't mean any disrespect, Traximus, but what's a Triceraton like you doing locked up in here with the rest of us gladiator slime? Because I believe in the Triceraton Republic, the real Republic. You see, once we Triceratons value truth and honor above all things. But now, we have a dictatorship that craves victory at any price. Corruption and greed have robbed us of all our noble warrior heritage. I spoke out thus too often and too loudly against our honorable prime leader and soon found myself here. Locked away as a slave. But you, you have reminded me of honor in battle. And I hope to find a way to repay you. Seconds would be nice. What? General Blank, our scouts searched 142 sectors before we even found a trace of the Triceraton homeworlds. But finally, we have them sighted. Good. We leave at once! If the Triceratons get the Fugitoid to build the teleportal device, those horned monsters will use it to destroy us. We have to get that Fugitoid back, or die trying. 
Would everyone please rise for our glorious Prime Leader Zanramon and the Triceraton Anthem? Commander, bring the Fugitoid here. I think we would be better able to persuade him to build us his teleportal device if he has to witness the demise of his friends firsthand. As you wish, Prime Leader. All right, Meat! Prepare yourselves! Gruel, how about some weapons here? Weapons? Why prolong the inevitable? Soon you will be put out of my misery. <laughs> Farewell. We shall not meet again. <laughs> I still have some friends in the Triceraton armed forces. I managed to get these for you. Our weapons. Your weapons. My babies! Daddy missed you! Did you miss Daddy? We owe you one. We gladiators look after our own. Just in time to enjoy the spectacle. <gasps> this is barbaric! Tonight's special event shall be all gladiators against the four Terrapin off-worlders! A fight to the death! No! Yes, unless you construct a teleportal device for me. No? Then. Let the games begin! We will not fight! We will no longer die to amuse the Prime Leader! His time is at an end! What? Guards! Seize them! This is your last chance. Build me the teleportal device, or your friends will perish. Uh, never! You have sealed their fate. Saurians, I give you... Monzo Ram and his all-star warriors! What a treat! The Triceraton all-star team, led by our reigning champion, Monzo Ram! Those four off-worlders don't stand a chance! Fight like, like, Triceratons! The crowd is really taking to these hard-shelled off-worlders! Slingshot action! Gotcha! Your show's been preempted, pal! Look 
looking for a new leader! You'll never make it out of here! You'll be shot down like dogs! Sip it, windbag! You're our ticket out of here! Man, I sure hope they're all really fond of the San Ramon guy! Really, really fond! For those of you just joining us, you're witnessing the greatest upset in Tri-Sports history! That's right, Raz! Four off-worlders have just taken our beloved Prime Leader Zanraman hostage! Drop the hardware, or your Prime Leader's lizard cutlets! Do... Uh, do as he says. You know, it's not every day four off-worlders can bring a glorious Triceraton Empire straight to its knees! You really got to admire their spunk! So, what do you think, Zed? Will they call for a timeout and make demands, or go straight for the win with a hostile overthrow of the regime? So what do we do now, fearless leader? I don't know. I'm trying to think through all that racket overhead. Well, you know, Raz, this is clutch time. The deciding moment of the... That help? Actually, yes. Okay, let's try this. Professor Honeycutt, take us to your lab. Prime Leader, you're coming with us. Everyone else stay put and don't move a muscle. Which way to the lab? Well, there are actually several routes. The Triceraton homeworld, with its interconnected network of asteroid cities, is a bit of a maze, really. Show us the fastest way, Spike. Now! As you wish. It fast, didn't you? I got you fast right here! Mikey, give me a hand welding the doors and hatches shut. Don, help Professor Honeycutt gather up everything he needs to construct his teleportal. You got it! Uh-huh. Raph, you got guard duty. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me, Leonardo. You don't actually intend for me to build the teleportal, do you? It may be the only way to solve the problem. But if I'm captured, the knowledge will surely fall into the wrong hands. You can use it to transport yourself and the device somewhere the Federation and Triceratons can't follow. Like Earth, for instance. If you don't build the teleportal, we'll never get home to rescue Master Splinter. Yes, by all means, help your friends build the teleportal. You keep out of this. The danger will always exist, whether or not you build the teleportal. What's to stop them from ripping apart your robot body and downloading all the data from your brain? Slag! Why didn't I think of that? Good one, Don! I'm sorry. Yes, I see. I'm afraid the only sensible solution is to blast me into scrap metal oh. right now. Wait! Professor, I was just saying... I didn't mean... Please. You're our only hope. <sighs> All right. But you must promise me one thing. If all goes wrong, if it looks like we are to be captured, then you must destroy me, so that my knowledge will never be used for evil and destruction. It won't come to that. But if it does come to that, will you swear on your honor to destroy me? We swear. Where's the fastest ship out of here? Hmm. Now let me think. You four turtles and Professor Honeycutt will have to make your escape in my personal cruiser. It's in my private space dock hangar. You heard the Prime Leader. Get the strike team in position now! We'll be waiting for them. My ship is in the next bay. Guys, get down! It's a trap!
time. Leave him! Red Leader, are you all right? Please, forgive us! Slag breeds! Stop them! Don't let them take my cruiser! Mr. Sulu, ahead! Warp Factor! Knock it off, Mikey! Isn't it fortuitous that my robot body comes equipped with a piloting program? Yes, well, perhaps a few upgrades would be in order. Looks like someone doesn't want us to leave. Ah, yes. Let's see. Evasive maneuver subdirectory. Accessing files now. Hang on, my friends. Yahoo! Strike one! Strike two! Gentlemen, it should be fairly smooth sailing from this point. Unless, of course, we happen to run into the entire Triceraton space fleet. Attention, Professor Honeycutt. This is Commander Mozar. Return at once to the Triceraton homeworld or face the wrath of the Republic's fiercest warriors. Can't say I'm happy with our choices. What? They're blasting straight for us! They must be insane. After them! Master Splinter always says, there is no greater weapon than the unexpected. I really must meet this Master Splinter someday. He ain't out of the woods yet! Better get the shields up and running! Oh yeah! Don't get cocky, kid! Feeling confident in your piloting skills? Oh yes, rather. Good. Let's try to lose them in that asteroid field. Well, gentlemen, I'd say the difficult part is over. And the really difficult part is just beginning. Hello, Professor Honeycutt. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Or should I say, you are something that belongs to me. Think the Federation would give up its most valuable scientific mind without a fight? They want to fight? Let's show them where they can find one. I want that fugitoid alive! Do you hear me? Alive! Yes, General. Get reacquainted. Mozart, what 
are your troops doing in this neutral sector? I could ask you the same question, General. We can't avoid them forever. We don't need forever. Just enough time for you and Professor Honeycutt to build that teleportal. Hmm. That planetoid should provide an ideal spot to construct the teleportal device. You wouldn't be hunting down a certain fugitoid who recently escaped from your home world, would you? How did you know Honeycutt escaped? You think we don't get Triceraton gladiators on Dahunib? It's our number one rated show! Wait! How did you know the Fugitoid is Honeycut? Why don't you ask your trusted aide? Lone? Lone! Seize her! You fellows will need atmosphere suits to work outside the ship. Fortunately, the Prime Leader's cruiser is stocked with special form-fitting suits that can configure to a multitude of alien anatomies. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's only three of them. <laughs> Commander Mozar, I order you to cease this unprovoked act of Triceraton aggression at once! I don't take orders from Federation Slime, General Blank. Commander, we have traced the warp vector pattern of the Fugitoid's cruiser to the Agarum Sector. Troops are on their way to apprehend him now! Thank you, Commander Mozar, for your assistance in this matter. The Federation will handle it from here. Not if the Triceratons get there first! Guys! I'm picking up massive energy signals on the scanner! Looks like the Federation and Triceraton fighters are headed our way! We need more time! You'll have to stall them! How? Just keep them talking. Anything to stall them from attacking. Hope this thing has three-way calling. General Blank, Commander Mozar. I am Leonardo of the planet Earth. I demand an immediate ceasefire. And why should we agree to your demand, Earthling? Because if you blow us up, you'll blow up Professor Honeycutt along with us. Then nobody gets the teleportal. However, we'll give up the Fugitoid for a price. We will? I'm trying to all stay for I'm Tay. But first, we'll uh, need to broker a truce between the Federation and the Triceratons. We want assurances that neither side will use the teleportal technology for destructive purposes. Agreed. Huh? Wait, don't you guys want to, like, argue about it some more? No. The Triceraton Republic is eager to settle this matter peacefully. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Federation with everything we've got. The Federation is equally eager to avoid unnecessary conflict. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Triceratons with everything we've got. Now, now bring, bring us, us the, the fugitoid. fugitoid! Uh, okay, but first we'll need to finalize your agreement. In writing, of course. That is, once we can determine a neutral meeting place mutually acceptable to both sides. Naturally, the Federation will require assurances of non-aggression from the Triceratons. Prepare to attack. We Triceratons have always honored our treaties. Prepare to attack. It is the Federation who must provide assurances of non-aggression. Are you accusing us of treachery, lizard? You Federation slime didn't force 150 planets under your rule by acting honorably. Well, maybe if you Triceraton buffoons hadn't managed to blow up your own homeworld, you wouldn't be living on a bunch of floating rock fragments. Hairless ape! Overgrown lizard! This is better than a daytime talk show! How are we doing out there, Professor? Did we buy you enough time? I'm gonna say... No.
outrage. It just goes to prove the Federation can't be trusted. Tri Fighters at 12 o'clock! It seems the Triceratons aren't to be trusted either. Hey, at least we got them to agree on something. Safe control. It will overload all my circuitry and wipe out my entire memory core. If you don't destroy me now, a weapon of ultimate destruction will fall into the hands of lunatics who will not hesitate to use it. I... I can't. You swore on your honor. Stay calm. We will return you to your native continuity. What? What is this madness? Where are the rest of our warriors? The Fugitoid! Seize it! Oh dear. Fire! Take cover! Welcome home party! You shouldn't have! No, I mean it! You shouldn't have! Deploy stasis beam! 
You have met the Guardians. It was they who found me after the battle with the Shredder and brought me here to these benevolent beings who saved my life. This is my good friend, Mr. Mortu. Mortu, these are my sons. Um, thank you for saving our sensei. But who are they? What are they? They call themselves Utrons, and their story is inextricably interwoven with our own. The ooze that originally mutated us all was a byproduct of their experiments with this transmat device. So, the chemical makeup of the ooze is caused by the interdimensional shift of non-essential subatomic particles. But, where were we transported? How did we wind up back here? And what, what now? All will be explained. First, there's some business to take care of. Beam these intruders back to their original coordinates. Yes, sir. Master Splinter, this is Dr. Honeycutt. I must apologize for my present condition. This mechanical body was the result of the how I came to be here. I see my sons have gotten into their usual amount of trouble in the eight hours they've been gone. Eight hours? We were gone three weeks! Perhaps I can explain. The exigencies of interdimensional travel affect not only the basic laws of three-dimensional space, but the fluidity of temporal mechanics as well. That is so cool! Yeah, if it made any sense at all! What the heck is going on here? My friends, let there be no more secrets between us. Follow me. We shall begin at the beginning. pod chamber, where our race assumes its highest state of communion, where many minds enter into oneness by sharing life experience. Inside these pods, you will be able to share the story of our lives. You know, I can't think of one science fiction movie where a pod has been a good thing. All will be explained. Please, enter the pods. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> Prepare yourselves to become one 
but the sacred memories of the Utrons. This is only happening in our minds, and we're all sharing the experience simultaneously. Whoa, dude. We're on an Utram starship. Your blessing, honored navigators? Your course is straight and true through the vastness of space and time, Captain. You have the blessings of the navigators. Master Splinter! Your friend Mortu's the captain! Okay... Uh, I'm not even gonna ask about the brains in the jar, Mr. Mortu. Mr. Mortu? Guys! Yo, blobheads! Fine, be that way, snooty Utroms. Mikey, this is all Utrom history. It's already happened. We're just experiencing it in our minds. It's like watching a movie in our heads. But it all seems so... real! Whoa! What's happening? If it's a movie, maybe we're cutting to the next scene. The security precautions are pitiful. You will never hold me. We have finally recaptured you after a hundred years' search. We're not about to lose the most ruthless criminal the universe has ever known. <laughs> I will escape, and you will all perish. That is my promise. Big talk, little slime ball. Big talk, little slime ball. Hey, I like the way this Mortu guy thinks. Yoo-hoo! Hey there, you ugly little Utrom! Michelangelo, you should know better than to tempt fate. But, Master Splinter, you're always saying we should tell the truth. <laughs> and the truth is, Mr. Creepy here is pretty ugly. That is not the point. <laughs> Look! They're passing close to Earth! Captain, the prisoner has escaped! Security, report! The prisoner is attacking! We are... Ah! Emergency! Power, cut! Engines are offline! Our minds are going dark! Cell by cell, we are undone! Helm, you have control of the bridge! Security detail with me! To the engine room! Nothing bad happens to these guys. I'm kind of getting to like them. Whatever happens, it's all history now, Raph. Careful! The prisoner is very crafty! <laughs> you see, I always keep my promises. Goodbye, Captain. Try something. The guys still aren't answering their shell cells. They've been gone more than eight hours already. 
All right, time's up. I'm going out there. To do what, Casey? There's about a hundred National Guardsmen between us and them. The best way we can help the guys is by sitting tight and being ready when they need us. I know, but I don't have to like it. My friends and honored navigators, we are all safe, but the ship is ruined. We are stranded on this primitive planet, millions of light years from our home world. There is not enough to salvage to repair the ship. We cannot return to our home world? No. How are they gonna get home? Captain! There's a structure beyond the next rise! This is... Japan! 11th century feudal Japan from the look of it! I got one word. Wow. To actually be here, to see the birthplace of Bushido, and ninjutsu. Hey, guys. Check me out. I'm in a samurai movie. <laughs> Your blade cannot touch the mighty Ronin, Michelangelo-san. I am the storming sea. I am the breaking wind. Michelangelo, show some respect. Sorry, Sensei. Well, I'm definitely gonna respect his breakfast. <laughs> um, huh? There is some sort of lesson here, but I'm enjoying this too much to think what it is. <laughs> In brief, Captain, we conclude that the technology on this planet is too primitive to build a flying vehicle, let alone an interstellar ship or even a hyperspace transmat device. The technology simply does not exist. Not yet, but we can wait. Okay, reality check. How long do these guys live? They're gonna wait centuries until they can build themselves a way home? I believe that is exactly what they do. to phase one. <laughs> from the crash, I give you the exosuit. With the proper covering, this will allow us to move among these humans undetected. So that's how they came to develop those robot bodies. Amazing! I believe a field test oh, uh, is in order. <laughs> ah, satisfactory. Most satisfactory. Test run concluded. First outing a complete success. What? It's a trap! Look out! <laughs> Hoping he didn't survive that crash. <laughs> I know this happened a long time ago, but I'm getting mad right now! Well, that was useless. <laughs> now what? Time's passing. A lot of time. 
What's happening? It looks kind of like the Shredder. Kind of too much like the Shredder. But it can't be. Ninjas, attack! Destroy them all! What is the meaning of this? We mean you no harm? We come in peace! But you will go... in pieces. It can't be our Shredder. This is 700 years ago. It must be the Shredder's ancestor or something. I must say, this is a most intriguing device, sir. We really must exchange cosmo-ethereal equations sometime. Mikey, get back. Don't get too close to him. I uh, don't sweat it, Leo. Like you told me. This isn't real, remember? Hey, ugly! Sweet dreams! You cursed freaks! What the? Our weapons! They've disappeared! Or should I say, very unpleasant nightmares? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> What's happening? I don't understand. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh dear! Michelangelo's vital signs! They're going critical! This is Stockman. All finished here. I am proceeding to phase two. Mikey! Oh no, Michelangelo! Curious. Capture those strange creatures. They may prove useful. Michelangelo needs help. He is badly hurt. Someone must have altered the program on us. Whatever. We're in it up to our necks. This reality isn't virtual anymore. My son, can you hear me? Michelangelo! Michelangelo is going critical. You must pull them out of the virtual reality system. I'm trying. The system is locked up. The controls aren't responding. No, oh, how could this have gone so horribly wrong? <laughs> Steady, guys. This is about to get ugly. This shouldn't be happening. This is supposed to be virtual reality. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to see us, let alone attack us. Come on, ladies. Let's dance. Leonardo, we must become shadows. Yeah! Guys, time to disappear. Rap, get Mikey and head for the bamboo. Don, you're with me. My sons, catch! Shredder's great great grandpappy! These guys may not be real, but they mean business. Let's go! Let's go. 
Send some men to watch the road through the forest. They won't get far. You others, come with me. I have important business in the village. Don, go find the others. Make sure they're okay. I'm gonna follow Mr. Personality for a bit. I'll catch up. Why don't we just shut the system down? Normally, it would be that simple. But the system's been tampered with. The slightest disruption or energy spike could destroy them. We must disconnect their minds from the memory pods carefully. But it will take time. Let us hope they can survive that long. Swordsmith, is it finished? Hi, Tonosama. I made the blade just as you requested. The metal is amazing. I have never seen its like before. Nor will you ever again. Let us just say the metal fell from the heavens. Just as the ninja are said to have descended from goblins, behold, the goblin sword, the sword of Tengu. is perfect. With it, my enemies will not be able to hide. I will find them and destroy them. <laughs> Mikey. Oh, we must be careful. Michelangelo is not well. And I fear that in this dream world, if we believe we have died, then we will truly die. Being careful won't be easy. That guy that looks like the Shredder, he just invented the Sword of Tengu! This is not good. attack. This location is no longer viable. We are surrounded. We have no choice. We must now use the transmat and return home. Our preliminary defenses are holding. We must save the turtles and their master. They are under our care. Are their lives more important than the lives of the Utrons? All life is precious, Council. True. But, but remember, remember Mortu. You have a great responsibility to your fellow Utrams. The burden is heavy, but you must bear it. I... I understand, Council. You can't abandon my friends. Don't worry, Professor. We will find a way to save them. And ourselves. Uh, uh, Master Splinter, is it... Time to eat? Ugh. You guys hear that? A fight in the forest. Over the hill, to the north. Go, investigate. I will stay and look after your brother. Ah, no! Leave us alone! Stay back! You know I'm 
really starting to hate these old school foot ninjas as much as I hate the modern day versions. She's good. I like her. What do you say we lend a hand? Bozos are coming to this party. A few too many. Look! Thank you, we deserve. trapped in this stupid Utrom video game. The Utrom? How do these strange Kappa know of the Utrom? That's it! That's where I've seen that medallion before! On the Guardians! Our friends here must be an early incarnation of the Guardians. You work for the Utrom, right? Well, look, we're on the same side. We need to talk to the Utrom. We're stuck here in this place, like them, and maybe they can help us. Can you take us to them? Can you at least let them know we need to see them? We will tell them. Wait! But how will we find you? If our masters agree to an audience, they will find you. Phase two was complete. Security is down, thanks to my genius. Oh! Sorry! Sorry! I should know better, Master. I have detected an underground passage that should allow you and your men to enter the building unseen. I'll deactivate the security in that sector and commence with phase three. Comanche one, knock on the front door. Roger that. Hold on to your hats and air pieces. It's gonna be big. has been a security breach, and internal security control is not responding. We must leave at once. I understand, Council. Deploy the security robots. Yes, sir. Instruct the transmat room to prepare for immediate evacuation. But you must free my friends. Of course, Professor Honeycutt. We will not abandon them. I promise. 
If only they could activate the pod's internal failsafe. But that's too much to hope for. Welcome back, bros! Anyone for sushi? Hey! hey, hey we're we're okay. Okay. Yeah. All right! Oh, Mikey, you bum! I'm glad you're okay. Mikey, uh, you know not a molecule of that food is real. It's all part of this illusion. Yeah, I know. But right now, it's real enough for me. That is it. Hmm? The answer, it is... Greetings. I am Mortu. Mr. Mortu, you're just the man we need to see. Ready, Master. They don't suspect a thing. It was at that point that the pod story became real. So you see, Mr. Mortu, we're trapped in this virtual reality and we can't get out. I do see. It is an interesting phenomenon. You have much knowledge of our ways, but your knowledge of the Shredder is incomplete. You should know, the Shredder is one of... <laughs> How fortuitous that I should find you here, mortal. Now, I can display the true powers of the Sword of Tengu for your amusement and your demise. Turn safely to where you belong. 
But if we're stuck in a video game, how can you give us anything that can affect the real world? I... we... you... oh, my brain hurts. If this world is a virtual projection created from our technology, then we Utrams have encoded an internal failsafe that can be activated by using the virtual reset device you now possess. Here we go. I hope. Goodbye and thank you. See you in a few hundred years. Wait, what was it you were trying to tell us about the Shredder before? The Shredder is a... They've done it! They activated the internal failsafe! But how? <sighs> well, you helped us. Not you, you, but you. It's kind of a long story. Well, I don't care how you got out. What matters is you're safe and sound. Still, I can't understand how the Oracle Pods malfunctioned. Oh, but I do. finished you off myself. You can't be alive. <laughs> you merely separated my head from my body. A courtesy I will gladly extend to you all, for none of you are leaving here alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, and I thought I was stuck with an unpleasant robot body. My sons, attack! Protect Mr. Mortu! <laughs> Mortu, I have anticipated this moment for nearly ten centuries. I'm surprised that with your genius it took you a thousand years to find us. If those guys have been enemies for that long, then that means... This is the same Shredder from a thousand years ago. Finally. about this. Donnie! Go long! At last, it's time I finally had my revenge on you annoying mutations. Stockman? I almost didn't recognize you. New haircut. Stuntman, hold. You have more important business. Never! My revenge comes first. I said hold! Implement phase three, now! Yes, Master. The device will soon be under your control. The device! The transmat! We must stop that cyborg before... <laughs> you will go nowhere! Drum. 
talk to us, but they might talk to a TV news reporter. How do I look? Uh, great. If you're removing toxic waste. Oh, oh. You're no help. Can you at least be my cameraman? Do I have a choice? Guardians, be ready for anything. Will not let you destroy the transmat. I do not intend to destroy it, Mortu. I will use it to send you to your doom. Perhaps I'll place you in the extreme heat of a supernova, or the cold, endless vacuum of space. And you're just the beginning. After I've disposed of you, I will use this device to conquer the homeworld of the Utrons. And I'll destroy every last one of your kind, Mortu! Not if we got anything to say about it. Remember us? Ah, I grow tired of you creatures and your constant interference. Elite Ninja, attack! Stockman, power of the Transmat. Finish Mortu and his friends. Yes. Master. Uh, we have to stop Stockman! Uh, and here I am, fresh out of box break! Uh, Why don't we just get credit to ask him to stop? Stockman seems to listen to him. That's it! Stockman's control chip must be voice activated! Yeah. Psst. Professor Honeycutt, can your audio processor replicate any sound? Of course. We need your best impersonation of the Shredder now! Stockman, step away from the controls. Stockman, don't listen to him. You obey only me. Don't listen to him. Override all voice command protocols. I'm... I'm free! I obey no one now! <laughs> Who's in charge now, Master? No! Uh, no! Shredder is... Uh, 
Implodes. The lower floors are completely sealed off. There's no way to contact them. There must be someone on the outside we can contact. General, April O'Neil, Channel 9 News. Uh, Channel 6 News. What can you tell us about the situation inside? Reporters, I said keep them back behind the barricades. Sir, the people have a right to know. General! April! Casey, it's me, Leo. Hello? Leo? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm hearing your voice. Me neither. When did you get three-way calling? Ow! What? Hello? Alive? Oh, right! <laughs> Woohoo! Listen, you have to get a message out to evacuate the building. It's gonna self-destruct in about six minutes. General, my, uh, station manager just received an urgent message from a terrorist organization calling itself... Gungala Kawabunga. They're gonna blow up the building. You have to get your men out of there in the I next- I thought I told you to keep those lunatics behind the barricades! But, General! Mr. Mortu, the transmat is powered up. Primary team, assemble on the platform. You're going home. I hate walking on my tentacles! Oh, shut up, Craig! Others have been evacuated. Secondary team will accompany the council. It is good to be going home. Professor Honeycutt, would you care to join us? We would gladly offer you asylum on our home world. Really? Me? To live among an advanced, peaceful civilization where I can use my knowledge and skills for good? It's a dream come true. But my friends, I will miss you. I... I can't thank you enough. Take care of yourself, Professor. Mr. Mortu, thank you for everything. <laughs> Man, I hate long goodbyes. <laughs> It's been an honor to know you and your race, Mortu-san. It is we who are honored, Master Splinter. Before we leave, a small token of our appreciation. Your Master Yoshi was the most loyal guardian that ever served the Utron. He gave his life to protect us but his spirit lives in our collective history. At 
And now, my friends, you must leave this building while you still can. Donatello, if you would do me the honor of powering up the transmat. Sweet! I'm all over it. As long as I live, you will not leave this place alive! I got us out, but 
but apparently I neglected to get us down. Guys, Master Splinter, you're alive! Yay! Good to see you! So, what's with the getup? You a news reporter? <laughs> in another lifetime, maybe. I suggest we continue our reunion in a less conspicuous location. So, do you think we've truly seen the last of the Shredder this time? The Shredder? Don't tell me he was in there too. Boy, have we got a story to tell you! Master Splinter, when you said we were coming up here for a little rest and recuperation, I thought maybe you meant rest and recuperation. Ah, Donatello. There is nothing more restful for a ninja than rigorous training. It brings focus and... Huh? <laughs> game Dude! Speak to me, Game Dude! Ow, 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 ow! Now, defend yourselves. Uh, Sensei, we got zero visibility here. <laughs> Not bad, huh, Sensei? Yes, not bad at all. We are finished for today. <laughs> Master Splinter, you said we were finished. A true ninja should never believe everything he hears. Well done, Leonardo. There goes Leo making us look bad again. Yeah, well, Leo doesn't always get it right. What was that, Raphael? Uh, nothing, Sensei. Come, let us sit and talk. It's no big deal, really, but I was just thinking about the first time we met the Shredder and how we almost had Leonardo here going over to the dark side. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. You know, I still feel like an idiot about that whole thing. I don't blame you. The Shredder almost had you believing he was a good guy. Remember? The Shredder invited you to a little party, and like a sucker, he went. Hello? Hello? My agent said you were good, but their description doesn't do you justice. I am Orokusaki, eighth generation master of ninjutsu. And you are... Leonardo! I felt it was urgent that we meet. There are things you need to know. You have been caught in the middle of a battle that is so much bigger than yourself. But you must know, there is a force, a corrupt and evil force, that is out there, right now, working its insidious tentacles into every aspect of our world. <sighs> Unfortunately, the only thing standing against this evil force is me and my humble army of ninjas. We stand alone against them, as my master did and his master before him. It has been my destiny to fight for the side of good. I was hoping that you would find it in your heart to join me and fight against this evil. We could stand together. Join me, Leonardo. I am your father. I can't believe you bought the Shredder's whole twisted story. Neither can I. Do not feel bad, my son. You hoped his words were true. It is the nature of a good heart to hope. I'm just glad you guys opened my eyes, especially you, Sensei. I should have seen through the Shredder's lies. I should have seen it coming. Yeah, well, I'm just glad that the Shredder didn't see Master Splinter coming. Remember that first time we went to face the Shredder? He kicked our shells all over the place! 
Shredder was going to finish us all off. Yeah, too bad he forgot about one thing. A little 90-pound weapon of mass destruction we like to call Dear Old Dead. You destroyed my family once. I will not allow that to happen again. <laughs> Yoshi! wonder if he'll ever be finished. He does have a habit of coming back. Yeah, remember April's place? I wish I could forget it! <laughs> Leo! Leo, what happened? <sighs> Who did this to you? I'm gonna find out who did this. No. Wait. He's back. The Shredder. Oh, crud. It's really him. Like Leo said. who should be saying farewell to, uh, to yourself. Oh, yeah, Mikey, that guy. Guys, I say we shred his butt once and for all. Finish them off. Hey, this door's getting hot. 
Uh, it, it's jammed! Uh, it, it won't open! Gas plus flame equals... Let's book! Now! We gotta get out of here! It's not a good day. I really miss that old place. Do you think he's gone? For good? The Shredder? I don't know. I sure thought Leo finished him off that night at the Foot Headquarters. Wasn't the end to him. Remember what happened the night our pals the Utrams were finally gonna beam themselves back home? Donatello, if you would do me the honor of powering up the transmit. Sweet! The Shredder came back at the TCRI building. Better than ever. As long as I live, you will not leave this place alive! Seems like he's always trying to make sure we never leave anywhere alive. Do not touch it! It's an Utrom implosion device. The techno-organic virus it contains will destroy you. Already it has thoroughly infected the system. The entire building will implode in less than ten minutes. Oh. <gasps> Deal. The Shredder's true identity! You pathetic creatures have interfered with my plans one time too many! For that, you shall pay with your lives! Shredder, there is no time! The building is about to implode! Even you could not survive! Then we shall all perish together! Guys! Use your weapons to penetrate his armor! I think we can stop him for good! Pathetic creatures cannot hurt me! Don't be so sure! Ah! Man! When we found out the Shredder was an Utrom, I nearly soiled my shell! Nasty little bug! Just lucky, I guess. Lucky, yeah. But that last time wasn't so lucky for the Shredder. There's no way he could have survived that, right? I don't know, April. The Shredder may play rough, he may play dirty, but he don't play dead. Yeah, 
but he sure leaves a path of destruction wherever he goes. I can't help but think of Master Yoshi. Not only was he Master Splinter's sensei, he was also a guardian, sworn to protect valuable secrets about the Utrom. Secrets that Shredder and his forces would stop at nothing to learn. He didn't go down without a fight, though. Yeah, from what Master Splinter says, Master Yoshi was one tough dude. I wish we could have met him. You have to admire Master Yoshi's courage. He was defiant to the last. Yeah, he really threw it in the Shredder's face. He who lives without honor will end without honor. Even though it cost him his life. When I think of my master Yoshi, my heart aches. But I know that master Yoshi kept his honor to the end. A true warrior. And a true guardian. Ah! The shredder in the hun! And the purple dragons! But your heart is doomed, right? I just want to... Ah! I think what Mr. Jones here is trying to say is... We're sorry for your loss, Master Splinter. Thank you. We have all suffered at the hands of the Shredder. You guys want to know the funny part? There's a funny part? Well, not ha-ha funny, but kind of ironic. I was thinking that the Shredder had a bigger hand in our lives than we know. Without the Shredder, we'd all still be pet turtles in a glass jar right now. What are you talking about, Willis? Well, allow me to explain. As you all might recall, we got mutated by that strange ooze when we were only babies. I remember it as if it were yesterday. You were all so cute. The ooze that mutated us came from the TCRI building, right? And why did the TCRI building even exist? Because the Utrams were trying to build their transmat so they could go home. And why did the Utrams need to go home? Because they were late for dinner? No, because an evil prisoner they were transporting across the galaxy sabotaged their starship. Uh -huh. Goodbye, Captain. Causing them to crash land on Earth centuries ago. And they've been trapped here ever since. Who was this evil prisoner who caused the Utrom so much trouble? <laughs> he was, in fact, a drumroll, please. The Shredder! <clears throat> Ergo, the Shredder had a direct hand in our creation. See what I mean? I think I speak for everyone when I say no. Ladies and mutants, how not to tell our origin story. No, listen. If the Shredder hadn't made the Utrams crash in the first place, then they never would have developed the Ooze. And if they never developed the Ooze, we'd never have been mutated. And if we'd never been mutated, we'd be eating fish flakes in some kid's aquarium right now. Whoa, that's really deep. Ugh, being that closely related to the Shredder makes me feel kinda dirty. Hmm, the Shredder may be a part of our origin, but it is we that choose our fate. And even if the Shredder's still out there, no matter what he throws at us, no matter how he messes with our lives, nothing he does will change the most important thing, that we're family. <laughs> Leo, that was off the charts on the sapo meter. You've been watching way too many after-school specials, bro. Just eat your s'mores and keep quiet, Mikey. Leo's got a point. <laughs> you are so dead, laughing boy. Watch the graham crackers. Pile on. Well, it's definitely a family. But do you think we'll ever be able to teach the kids some manners? Miss O'Neill, teaching them the ancient art of ninjutsu is hard enough. I am afraid even I cannot work miracles.
Show me. Show me the one I seek. Here is the one you seek. Yes. Now find him, for his end is soon at hand. Master Splinter? May I speak with you? Certainly, my son. You know, it's great having April live with us. After all, I mean, she's been through a lot. She lost her place because of us. But it's just that- Hey, I found that hairbrush I promised you. How'd the shampoo and conditioner work out? It was wonderful. My hair has never felt so full-bodied and supple. And my split ends, they are all gone. Truly, I am in your debt, Miss O'Neill. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> what was it you wanted to speak to me about, Leonardo? Nothing, Sensei. Everything's just fine. The police seem unable to keep the peace on our city streets. And this reporter can only hope that the current growing wave of gang violence is not the precursor of things to come. I hate watching the news. It's all bad. These gangs out there banging heads, it really ticks me off. Raph, everything ticks you off. Not everything. All right, everything. Man, the technology on this hover skiff is amazing. Do those Utroms know how to make cool stuff or what? Hey, Mikey, could you keep it down to only a slightly deafening cacophony? Sorry, bro, we don't have any cacophony. But we do have popcorn, the glorious golden kernels of freshly popped joy, because it's movie night! Woohoo! Movie night, right. Hey, where the heck is that bonehead Casey Jones? He's supposed to be bringing the movie. Probably not the best idea letting Casey pick the flick. No telling what we'll be watching tonight. Just something super spectacular. A movie so Google great they only remade it a gazillion times. And this, my friends, is the original. Like me. Whoa! Oh no! Let the movie begin. Incoming! <laughs> Hey, Bonehead, I can't believe you picked a Western. I can't believe it either. This is Rio Gatto. I love this movie. Me too. Isn't it great how that punk kid challenges the old man? Just so that the kid can make a name for himself? And it's great where- Um, guys, can we just watch the movie instead? Please? Sorry. Sorry. After I'm done with you, Sheriff, They'll know my name in every territory west of the Mississippi. Now, draw. Look, kid, having people know your name isn't important. Fame and glory aren't worth fighting for. Enough talk, old man. I said draw on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Can I pick them, or can I pick them? They sure don't make them like that anymore. How cool was that Sheriff Bart guy? Yes, it was as if he were a samurai of the Old West. Aw, the popcorn's gone. I can't imagine where it all went, Mikey. I was hungry, but now I'm really hungry. Maybe it's time for, oh, I don't know, an ice cream run? Yeah! It is too dangerous on the surface. The increased gang activity alone makes it ill-advisable to go. We'll be careful, Sensei. I will accompany you to ensure you do not get into mischief. Besides, I am craving a double-thick ice cream shake. Ice cream, here we come! <laughs> Beware, warrior. 
I am coming. Caramel and almonds. Me! Me! I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. You say that one more time and I really am gonna scream. I gotta admit, that Rio Gato turned out to be a great flick. One thing though, how did Sheriff Bob beat the kid when the kid obviously had better skills? I believe the young gunslinger fought only for fame and glory, while the Sheriff fought to protect his friends and loved ones. Of course, Possibly Sheriff bought one because it was only a movie and needed a happy ending. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Statistically, the odds are against it. Thanks for the stats, Brainiac. But Sheriff Bart was pretty quick on the draw for an old guy. I mean, he was... Leo! Watch your backs. Get behind me. Yeah, right. I have seen this marker before. Not around here. Think it's the foot? Are they back? It is not the foot. It is a challenge. A marker for a duel. A duel until only one is left standing. Young warrior. The one called Leonardo. I have come to this dimension to battle Oroku Saki, the Shredder. But you stole that honor from me when you defeated the Shredder in combat. And so, for fame and glory, I must destroy you in his stead. I challenge you, young warrior, to a duel. Hold on, whackbag! You mess with my brother, you mess with me! You mess with all of us! You got that right, ditto! These are not the rules. Yes, I know. <gasps> Splinter, what is all this? It is a universal challenge match. What's up with this cage? If the warrior named Leonardo refuses the match, then your lives are forfeit. And if he accepts and loses, then his life is forfeit. You must choose, my son. Sensei? There is no choice. I accept the challenge. So noted. Challenge accepted. Duelists, prepare. Soon, warrior, you shall taste defeat. Master Splinter, what is going on? I will explain later. Now is not the time. I demand a full observance. Full observance accorded. A full observance? I... Fine, old one. Observe all you want. It will not change the outcome. Warrior. Warrior. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> Boy, he's a little overdramatic. I wish I were fighting that nutcase. I wish I knew exactly what it is I'm supposed to do. You must face him in combat, my son. And you must be careful. He will be a difficult opponent, but you have the skill, and most importantly, you have the heart to defeat him. Behold. It is all right, Raphael. Calm down. All is in order. What do we do now, Master Splinter? Now we wait and we watch.
Look out, Leo! He's right behind you! Save your breath, Mikey! He can't hear you! <laughs> talking about oh, oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. dictates certain rules. When I get out of this, I'm gonna... Raphael, enough! It is hard to watch, I know, but we must. Sensei, isn't there anything we can do? Yes. As family members, we claim right of attendance. So granted. This is too strange! Whoa! This isn't how we left things! Change is good! Yo, you go, Leo!
do. I have got to get me a pair of these. He is finished. I have won. I am the ultimate warrior on this planet. With this victory, my fame and glory grows. Soon all will know my name. I am the ultimate ninja. Just wait, pal, and I'll give you all the fame and glory you can handle. Hang on there, Raph. I'm not finished with him yet. What? It, it can't be. It can be. And it is. Let's you and me finish this. Now. Go, Leo! You are the yeah! top! Sorry, you just did. But you fought well. It's okay. I, I... I do not believe it. I... I surrender. Winner... Leonardo! Disgrace yourself thus, but you would disgrace me, your own father, with your lack of honor. You have not earned this combat, yet you have the audacity to attempt to make a name for yourself in such a manner. Splinter son, you have trained your students well. I salute you. You have fought well, young one, and won honorably. I return to you, your katana. Once, many generations ago, we visited this dimension. The people here took us to be goblins, Tengu. But we endowed a chosen few with the first gifts of the art of ninjutsu. You have carried that tradition well, better even than my son. Come, we go home. My son, you have made us all proud. Come, let us also go home. Master Splinter, I, I don't mean any disrespect, but what the shell was that all about? Be patient. When the time is right, all will be made clear. Oh, somebody took my toothpaste again? I didn't even know turtles had teeth. Watch <laughs> oh, <my God>! out! <laughs> You're in the middle of my obstacle course! <laughs> Amazing Utrom technology, and you built Mikey a flying skateboard? Well, you know Mikey, April. It's the only way I can get any peace. Sewer water. Actually, it's not sewer water. 
It's coming from the river. Not making me feel better. What are you doing down there? I'm looking into building an access way. There are a lot of underwater tunnels that could be excavated to allow us a way into the river. See you later. Donatello, don't you? This day just keeps getting better and better. Incoming! With innocent victims caught in the crossfire of rising gang violence, the police are warning the public to stay off the streets in much of the city. <laughs> Michelangelo, quiet! <laughs> yeah, boo! Hey, Rap, check this out! Sorry, April. I wasn't aiming him at you. Hey, getting flattened by turtles is just part of my new lifestyle. Yo, guys, just letting you know I'm borrowing a ton of tools. At last, another human. Well, almost. Hey, Case, where you headed? Coney Island. Promised a buddy I'd look at the Ferris wheel for him. Doing a little repair work on his side. Coney Island? I haven't been there since I was a kid. I love that place. Yeah, me too. You know, uh... You could come with me. Me? Well, you're pretty good with a wrench. You could help. I'd love to. Um, I mean, yeah, that'd be great. Coming through! Ah! Uh, it would be nice to get out of here. I kind of got turtles coming out my ears. I'll pick you up around 10. Hey, maybe we can grab a late night snack or something. But, uh, I mean, you know, it's not a date or anything, right? Uh, absolutely. It's not a date. Good. Fine. Mother. Oh, the usual, Father. Junior has something to tell you. Don't you, Junior? Uh, I got an A on my math test, but I guess I kind of got in trouble for making a face in the class picture. Oh, Junior, with shenanigans like that, how is a mother supposed to raise a family? Family? And now for news break. Con man Harry the Schlub Parker is being moved to Rikers Island Prison. Over the course of a four-day crime spree, Parker made off with over a million dollars in diamonds and other valuables. Daddy! 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 I see you crunchy munchy and raise you a razzle dazzle. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like taking candy from a bunch of babies. <laughs> but you should see the candy I got stashed on the outside. It sparkles real pretty. Yes, boys, when I get out of here, I'm gonna live like a king. Whoops. Dad, uh, can we discuss this like the uh, sophisticated gentlemen that we are? What was that? I miss you. We are going straight back to the top. First up, take me to the loot, kid. It's high time I got my hands on all that sparkly diamond goodness again. Hey, those men are bad, kid. They're keeping your dear old innocent dad in here when he didn't do nothing. Hey!
It's almost 10. I've got to clean up. Why? Uh, We're just going to get dirty again. I prefer not to wear grease in public. I know we're just working on the Ferris wheel, but... I guess some of the pedals got blown off on a motorcycle. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. So, where are you taking our April? Guys, it's not a date. And when will you have her home, young man? Everybody knock it off. It's not a date. It's just Casey and we're just working a repair job. Now, good night. File this one under B for Bizarre. Eyewitnesses to the strange escape of Harry Parker say that he was helped by machines that came to life. Remind you of anything? It's gotta be that walking junk pile that almost flattened us last time. But I thought it got toasted. I guess some of the nanobots survived and rebuilt themselves. Hmm, man, that poor thing. Remember how it was acting like a kid? It just seemed so helpless. Yeah, it was so helpless that it almost stomped us into turtle pancakes last time. But it wasn't his fault. That crook was teaching him to steal. I mean, imagine if Splinter had been evil. We might be crooks instead of who we are. And your point is? We should help it. Give it an alternative life. A chance it never had. Like Master Splinter helped us. Mm, I just know we're gonna regret this. Where do we start looking? Every good search starts at the source. There might be something on the nanobots themselves that will help us. I kept detailed records of the first time we came across this nanotechnology. Just a little closer. And that's it! A patent registration number. And if it's registered, its source can be found, especially with a little digging on the internet. Given the emotional imprinting of my first nanotechnology, I've rewritten the primary encryption and... Mommy! No! 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 Calm down, lady. He ain't gonna hurt you. I don't think. Wait. I saw you on the news. You're that thief. Alleged thief. And who the heck are you? I am the inventor of this nanotechnology. Then maybe you can explain what the heck he thinks he's doing. To him. You happened to him. You know, lady, now that I met you, I ain't wondering why the kid ran away from here in the first place. You can't talk to me like that, you lowlife. You better get out of my face with that lowlife talk. Stop fighting! Stop!
Registration lists this address. And it looks like Nano Boy left the back door open for us. I think we're too late. What the heck is that? Whoa! Looks like Dick and Jane go insane. Tracking him isn't gonna be too hard. Good night, Case. The place is all ours. But before we start work on the Ferris wheel, let's check out the view from up there. Aren't we supposed to be working? Sheesh, April, live a little. Here, I'll give you a boost. Whoa. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What was that? Uh, I didn't hear nothing. Oh boy. Make Daddy happy! The jewels! My stash! But we hit them in that warehouse downtown, kid. What are they doing here in this amusement park? I put here for families. They all see shiny pretty. All for families. Great, kid. I'll just hang on to them. Now, uh, we had our fun and all, but it's over. See, I gotta go. I wanna leave. Just let me leave. Okay? And me as well. Please, let me go. Leave? Go? No! No, leave me! No! So, how's the date going? Am I glad to see you guys? That thing's back, and it's going nuts, tearing up the place! No, leave me! I don't know, Donnie. This isn't looking like such a good idea. It's throwing a tantrum. We have to try to talk to it. Talk to it? Ah, uh, robot thingy? We mean you no harm. We don't want to fight. Mikey, 
all the nanobots with an electromagnetic pulse. You guys keep it busy. When I give the word, lure him to the roller coaster. April, I'll need your help. Hey, that sneaky little green nerd just stole my day. Did he say lure? How quaint. How the heck are we supposed to lure it? <laughs> <laughs> my laptop with the roller coaster's operating system. I'll wire the tracks for electricity. I get it. You're going to magnetize the tracks, switching the polarity from positive to negative alternately. And the resulting intermittent multipolar flux should create the electromagnetic pulse. I like it. But do you think it'll work? Eh, I'm making this up as I go. Come on, you big ugly pile of junk! Step on the turtle, win a prize! You robot thingy! That's it, come to daddy, you big tin can! Whoa! Take me back to jail. Anything is better than this. Man, poor kid. All he wanted was a family. Doesn't seem like that much to ask. Look, I'm telling you, I didn't bust out of jail. I was kidnapped. Honest. Yeah, yeah. You gotta believe me. April? We found the stolen jewels the police have been looking for. We were thinking you should turn them in. There's a big reward. You could build your place again. But guys, we should share the reward. Sharing is good. Will you knock it off? What? Thanks, guys. Guess if you get your place back, we won't be seeing you so much anymore. Of course you will, guys. We're family. Hey, Shell for Brains, can you keep it down? There are some people in New Jersey who are trying to sleep! too excited to sleep. I can't wait to have my own place again. I understand. I can still remember back when this used to be my room, when I wouldn't have to listen to my roommate snore like a chainsaw! Don't worry. I'll soon be out of here and you'll be back in your own room before you know it. Um, April? What are you doing with my Silver Sentry comics? I needed something to wrap my stuff in, and these were just lying about, so I... Ah! Calm down, Mikey. I'm joking. I know better than to mess with a guy's comic. Oh, ha ha. Real funny, April. Enjoy your packing. Yep, moving out's looking pretty good. And for now, the police have two suspects in custody. Leo, Master Splinter, you two up? Shh. Meanwhile, in other news, an unexplained wave of gang activity is sweeping through the boroughs of New York. How long before they knock on your door? We'll have the full story when Channel 9 News returns. Sounds like Donnie's up, too. Boo! Ah! Whoa! Easy, partner, don't shoot! 
Mikey, never sneak up on a turtle while he's welding. Hey, love what you've done with the place. Yeah, go ahead. Make jokes, Mikey. But when I'm using this underwater access way to cruise the river in a submersible, you're gonna miss out on some fun. Unless you make yourself useful and help. <sighs> Suddenly I feel sleepy. <laughs> this cross brace will secure the access way and ensure its stability. So, you know what you're supposed to do, right? Yep, I'm supposed to swim in cold river water when I should be in a warm, cozy bed. Right. Chucklehead. aren't gonna believe this so I was like <laughs> and it was all <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> then it got all <laughs> and then it was all roar roar Cuckoo. The claws, and crazy I was like, claws. hold up guys Raf remember that albino croc we tangled with years ago Mike's croc could actually exist it does exist and it's all <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> we should have seen it coming bro you're one rib short of a barbecue Look, I know what I saw. There's a huge, ugly reptile in the sewers. And for once, it's not you, Raph. And I'll prove it to you. I'm going back down there and find that thing. If you're serious, take this porpoise device. I made it to explore some of the underwater passageways. It's got a built-in camera and a transmitter. And I put a two-way radio in the mask. We'll be able to see and hear your mystery croc on here. If it exists. Stay tuned, guys, as Mikey TV takes you on a croc hunt! Mikey, you're not insane. Well, not completely. Che 
Check it out, guys! Big, dark, and scaly is living in our old lair! You were right, my friend. Oh, so right. The remaining component was exactly where you said. Now I can complete my task for you, and then you can aid me in completing mine as per our deal. I am so glad I made your acquaintance. I don't mind telling you, I've had quite a lot of experience repairing these units. Child's play, really, once you understand the basic principles. Well, what do you know? It's just a big crocodile version of Dawn. It is finished, my friend. Why don't you take it for a test drive? He's got an exoskeleton. I can't really see, but I think... I think he's talking to an Utrom. An, an Utrom? <laughs> an intruder. Okay, time to go. Stop. Should be an access cover just about here. Guys, are you there? Mikey, where the shell are you? What's happening? I'm in the 39th Street runoff. It got a little hairy back there with my reptile pal. But I think I lost him. Mikey! Mikey! One, two, three, four. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! One, two, three, four. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Sometimes I get carried away. Look, guys, a handbag with claws. Guys, wait, it's. Mikey, but if this croc bites her head off, I don't want to hear any complaining. 
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Leatherhead. Leonardo. Raphael. Donatello. I'm Mikey. Come. It is so very drafty in these sewers. Let us return to my temporary laboratory where we can speak in relative comfort. Ah, there's no place like home. My sentiments, exactly. Whoa, you're building a transmat? You are familiar with the transmat? Then, you know of the Utroms. Actually, the Utroms and us go way back. Really? The Utroms are my family. It is a long story. It began when I was little more than a hatchling. I assume that I began life as a mere exotic pet, which for some cruel human reason was cast into the sewer. Fortunately, I was discovered not by humans, but by the Utrams, who deemed me worthy of further observation. During the course of this observation, I was accidentally exposed to a mutagen the Utrams had created. The mutagen not only changed my physical form, but greatly accelerated my intellectual development. And when the Utrams realized that I had become sentient, they adopted me. I was happy living with the Utrams. They taught me much. Life was good until the humans discovered our base and tried to destroy us. My family barely escaped. Once I finish building this transmat, I will be able to rejoin my family once again. Ah, my friend has returned. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my good friend. Master Stockman! Hardy har har. Leatherhead, my friend. Do you recall the traitors I told you about? It was these turtles who sabotaged the TCRI building. It was these turtles who destroyed the Transmat. It was they who caused the Utrams to leave. Them? Yes, yes, them, them! Baxter Stockman telling lies? Imagine that! Them. These green gnomes are why I had you build our little you-know-what. And now we can put it to work. Donnie, what in the shell is that? I'm not sure. But it doesn't look good! Itself with our fighting styles 
and its processors are working faster than our reflexes. So what do we do? Something unexpected. Can I borrow these for a second? Master Splinter always says we must train in every weapon form. It's time to put in a little practice. You're so right. I am done playing. I'll be happy to finish you off personally. I can't count how many times you meddlesome freaks robbed me of my revenge when I was working for the Shredder. But this time, nothing will stop me. The Shredder? Huh? Worked for the Shredder? He was the Ultron's most hated enemy. You weren't intending to help me with the Transmat. You used me. Very well. You pathetic freaks can all perish together. Believe me, I am doing evolution a big favor. Guys, we gotta get out of here now! Leatherhead, come with us! Forget about this place! No. If I do not have the Transmat, if I cannot be with the Ultrons, then life is meaningless. Leatherhead, please! Mikey, come on! Leave me! My friend. Michelangelo, move it! Poor Leatherhead. Can you imagine being that alone? You know, things may get rough at times, but at least we have each other. Yeah, but do we have to have wrath? Huh? Come here, Knucklehead. No, hey, watch it! <laughs> Coming at ya! Whoops! Yo, Donnie, heads up! <sighs> hey, you guys, can't you just leave me alone? I'm sick of all these interruptions. I can't work like this! Yeah! Whoa, ease up, Donnie. You okay? I know you ain't slept in days, bro. Maybe you're, I don't know, working too much? I'm trying to find a cure for our friends, trapped in the underground city. Huh, that creepy place? Well, how do you think they feel? They're like prisoners down there. Man, remember that spooky soul survivor guy? I wish I could forget. Remember what he said? As we speak, the power of the cavern's crystal moon is infusing your friends with its regenerative energy. I remember we had to put that whack bag on ice. No! And when our friends strayed too far from the city's crystal moon, they turned right back into monsters. We made them a promise, remember? A promise to find a cure. I know the cure has something to do with these crystals. I just don't know what. Hey, let him go, Raph. Don's got that no matter what it takes look. We better just leave him alone. how they work. Donatello. Donatello. Hear the crystal. Hear 
the crystal. Donatello, hear the crystal. Donatello. The crystal. Hear the crystal. That's it. At least I think that's it. I gotta wake the others. Hey, guys! This better be good, Donnie. A turtle needs his beauty sleep, you know. I've been doing some testing. The crystals react to sound. High frequency sonic disruption, to be precise. That will cause the crystals to break down into their purest, simplest form. They liquefy. And in this liquid form, we can administer a version of it like a serum, a cure. Our friends will be able to leave the underground city forever. Don, I gotta say, way to go, Egghead. I, uh, I'm not so sure I deserve the credit. I kind of got the idea in a dream. A dream? Donnie, you've been working too hard. No, guys, don't you get it? Don had a crystal dream like the one I had last time we went underground. We gotta get back down there right away. I've been working on that too. It's a lot shorter if we go straight down. Gentlemen and Mikey, I give you the Turtle Tunneler. Tunneler engaged. In, the ride gets a whole lot bumpier. Are we there yet? <laughs> Ow! Zip it, goofball. Underground City. Already? I barely had time to watch the in-flight movie. Wait a minute. Isn't there supposed to be a light at the end of this tunnel? The Crystal Moon! <gasps> it's gone! crystal moon thing up on the ceiling the last time we were here. It can't just be gone. It's worse than that. The crystal moon was the only thing keeping our friends from turning back into monsters. You were saying? Design this thing to withstand lava? What kind of idiot do you think I am? Are there different kinds? Um, why are we traveling into the city and not to, say, Singapore? Because we made a promise to help our friends, Mikey, and we're gonna keep it. Out there. Yeah, they're stalking us. Why 
why don't they attack already? Because they don't want the tunneler, just the chewy green snacks inside. Guys, don't worry. I packed us a little something for emergencies. Our seat backs detached to become tech pack units. High tech weapon and survival gear. And from the look of this place, we're gonna need them. Excuse me, why are we getting out of the nice, safe, heavily armored vehicle? Because I need to find more crystals. Don't worry, Mikey. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, yeah, except we're the cake. You still here? Yo, buddy, that bus ain't coming. The entity's amulet seems to be the only crystal we've seen. It's a start, I guess, but I'll need more. What is this place? Just what we need. More creepy bald guys. Why do I get the feeling Mr. Soul Survivor didn't exactly tell us the whole story about his extinct race? Heads up, guys. We got company. She does. Crap, your tech pack! Don't worry, she's just stunned. Not for long! Keep her busy. I'm gonna try the antidote serum on her. Guys, tech packs only. I mean, nuts! I'm all out of nets! Relax, goofball. <laughs> Yo, Donnie! Any day now with that cure thingy! Come on, come on! <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> Quarry! Wait! It's me, Mikey! Don't you know me? We're your friends! Try to remember! <laughs> back with a cure. It's unbelievable. Our little Donnie's full of all kinds of ideas. Quarry, what happened to the... My real name is Sydney. Oh, sorry. Sydney, what happened to the Crystal Moon? The Crystal Moon? It's all our fault. We were getting stir-crazy trapped down here, so we tried to find a cure ourselves. We used up a lot of crystals, but it was hopeless. We thought perhaps a larger piece of crystal might work, so we turned to the crystal moon. With the help of some explosive geodes we discovered in a chamber in the underground city, we had hoped to break off a sizable piece of the moon. But the geodes were more powerful than we realized. The entire crystal moon fell from the cavern's ceiling and sank beneath the molten lava! Without the moon's regenerative power, we instantly reverted back into monsters. Savage, mindless. <laughs> Fighting among ourselves, lashing out at anything that moves. 
But now that you've cured me, you can cure all of us. We can all go home. Yeah, except for a little problem. I only had enough crystals to make one vial of serum. I never expected to find a shortage of crystals down here. With the crystal moon gone, all the crystals are dead. We'd have to raise the crystal moon from the lava to bring back the energy source. What are you talking about? That thing has to have melted away to nothing in that lava. Not necessarily. The crystals are almost indestructible. They don't liquefy from heat. They liquefy from sonic vibrations. Well, if it's down there, let's get it back up where it can do some good. Yeah, Donnie, you're on a roll today. Any more bright ideas? We're gonna need one. Well, we could try to use the crystal cable from the old underground tram, secure one end to the tram tower, and the other end around a sturdy rock ledge, thus rigging a giant-sized variation of the old block and tackle. The ledge should provide us with a good angle for optimum leverage. Then, I'll take the turtle tunneler down into the lava to hook the cable to the crystal moon. We can use the explosive geode Sydney discovered to dislodge the tram tower from its foundation and topple it over. We'll be cutting it close, but it just might work. Just one question. Who came up with this plan? Wackos are us? It is a little unorthodox, but it'll work. I hope. Sydney, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I'm the only one who knows where the crystal moon went down. Engaging infrared scanner. Let's do this quickly. I don't know how long the heat shields will hold. Explosives are in place. Now all we gotta do is sit back and wait for Donnie's signal. Or we can keep busy by fighting for our lives! Right now, 
If I could just reach my... Got it! Yeah! This is it, guys. Daylight again. <gasps> What's wrong? I... I'd forgotten how beautiful it was. Thank you. From all of us, we owe you our lives. Come on. Let's go home. Donnie, you may be a pain in the shell, but I'm proud that you're my bro. Darkness falls and the city calls. Time to play, wouldn't have it any other way. Free at last, we slip outside. about all them fancy moves. I prefer just getting the job done. Master Splinter says that grace and form should flow together in beauty, creating true power. Whoa, that's a little too intense, bro. You gotta relax a little. How about a little game of follow the leader? And since when did you become leader? Sits right now. Not for long. Kick it into overdrive. Feels so good to be alive. Time is right for having fun on a midnight run. Running. and Lord of the Jungle to me. What's that make you, Jane or Cheetah? Whoa. Shh. Some kind of deal going down. You got the stuff? Do you have the payment? Right here. <laughs> You 
actually gonna count it? We ain't got all night. Mm, this is only half of what we agreed. Ah, you get the other half of the money once we leave with this stuff. You are not going to leave. Foot Ninja! Exterminate these insects! Exterminate me? We'll exterminate you, pal! Let them have it, boys! Hey! Whoa, Leo, where are you going? Those are all bad guys down there. But it's not right. Right or wrong, it's not our fight. I'm not too sure about that. This is the police. Freeze! Drop your weapons! There, you see? Here come the good guys. A happy ending. I don't know, Raph. I don't know. Report. It is as we feared, Mistress Karai. The word on the street is that the Shredder is no more. Several different factions are fighting for territory. The city is at war. Mm. Fuel the jet. It is time to bring order to the chaos. My way. Curfew has failed to stem the tide of violence. Several innocent bystanders were rushed to the hospital after they had been caught in the crossfire of more gang violence. It's the fifth wave of gang activity. Is... Victoria, your inability to recognize the truth when it hits you over the head never ceases to flabbergast me. This is obviously a gang war on a citywide scale, with the factions vying for total control. Ivan, your scare tactics amaze and amuse me simultaneously. This is no more than a few random clashes between gangs in a small-scale turf war. You have once again proven yourself to be a complete and total loser. My son? I... I'm confused, Master Splinter. I guess I hoped things would change when we finally got rid of the Shredder. You know? For the better. But it seems like everything just got worse. Are you out of your green gourd? We did the city a favor. Did we? Did we really? Raph, don't you see what's going on up there? The city's at war. Don't you feel just a little bit responsible? No! It's not our deal! It is! Even if we didn't mean to make things worse, we did. Don't ask me to explain how, but it feels like our fault. I kind of know what he means. Nobody asks you, Mikey. Leonardo, if one shoulders the weight of the world, all one will accomplish is to be crushed under the world's weight. I don't understand, Sensei. We set out to do something good. It turned out bad. But the truth is, we started it. How can we just walk away? <sighs> I do not wish to discuss this, Leonardo. You must listen to me and let this go. It is too dangerous for you to get involved in this war going on up there. For now, you must do nothing. I'm sorry, Master, but I can't do nothing. I can't! Leonardo! Leonardo! Dude, 
Wow, what a bonehead. <sighs> One big happy family. <sighs> Don't get what Master Splinter's thinking on this one. Do nothing? Innocent people are getting hurt because of us. Because of me. I just wish I knew what the shell I was going to do. Huh? Well, I guess I'm gonna find out. does this kind of stuff all the time. How hard can dismantling a bomb really be? Ah. See? No sweat. <laughs> ah! This day just keeps getting better and better! <laughs> The Shredder gone, the others have started to grab for territory. Near as I can guess from the news reports, the Purple Dragons have made a power play and grabbed a bunch of territory. The Foot Ninja are losing territory to the mobsters and the Purple Dragons. It's chaos. Thank you for that informative and concise explanation. The real question is, what are the mobsters gonna do now that they're in third place? This is an insult! We've been left behind whilst the purple dragons and the foot is dividing up the city. We need to take action now. But what more can we do? We gotta do something. My own mother's giving me disrespect. It's downright criminal, I tell you. Enough whining. The new player, the one that got us all the high-tech firepower, guarantees that if we follow his battle plans, we'll kick them all off the map. Just so we're clear. I hate this new guy, but given the situation, we don't have a choice. Get ready to move! Tonight, the city will be ours.
to the foot since we got rid of the Shredder? How the mighty have fallen. I guess it's just me against them. All of them. Jeez, anybody think you weren't happy to see us? What are you guys doing here? Making sure you don't get into something you can't get out of on your own. We're like the cavalry, without the horses. <sighs> we shouldn't be here, Leo. This ain't our war. Uh, looks like it's our war now. of my favorite movie stunts. They will have no way of dealing with what you are about to unleash upon them.
time for Plan B. I'm afraid it lacks the finesse of my robotic creation, but we really have no choice. It's a rather messy alternative. Messy? Observe. You're happy, Leo. I hope doing the right thing was really worth it. Good thinking, Don. Grabbing this beam really saved our shells. It almost makes up for Big Brain Leo leading us straight into... Guys, let's continue this discussion elsewhere. Everybody, move on free. One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> with that kamikaze robot. Looks like there's a new player in the mix. Great, just what this town needs. If having them drop a building on our heads don't convince you we should stay out of this, I don't know what will. Since when do you run from a fight? First, I ain't running. Second, it wasn't our fight to begin with. Yeah, well, guess what? It's our fight now, hothead. Who you calling hothead? <sighs> I ain't the one who dragged us into this mess. <laughs> Uh, guys? Oh, right! You're the level-headed one who only fights for honor when it's convenient! Guys! You saying I got no... What the... Gotta be wrong. Once the robot is defeated, we will destroy you all! Uh, now that's the foot we know and loathe! You hit your head pretty hard. Now, come on, let's get you out of here. Mistress Karai, one of our New York sources recovered the security camera footage from a warehouse that was prematurely demolished. Interesting. Listen up, dragons! With the Shredder out of the way, this is our moment! We can own this town! Yeah! Dragon face! Dragon face! It's time to prove to the mob, the ninjas, and all the other wannabes that the purple dragons ain't just a bunch of dumb street punks! I couldn't agree more! Uh-oh! Hun! We thought you weren't were coming back. Look, things have changed around here. I'm in charge now. You can't come waltzing in here like you own the place or something. Oh, but I do own the place, Dragon Face. Every inch of turf you rule, every kickback you've collected, every little crumb you've ever been handed, you owe to me! And you owe it to the 
the Shredder. And it is in his memory that I vow to lead the Purple Dragons to the top of the food chain. We are going to rule this city! <laughs> Any other objections? I didn't think so. <laughs> Heads. This is our barricade! Guys, wait! I think I see how we can stop this robot! I just need to get to those down power lines! Forget it! I know how to stop Tin Butt! Raph, wait! Listen to me! I'm listening to you's what got us into this mess in the first place! <laughs> So. Well, you don't deserve to be! That hothead move nearly got your shell waxed! Oh, so it's okay when your mistakes blow up in our faces! Getting involved in this gang war was not a mistake! Right, this was a noble heroic effort! Thank you, Leonardo! The streets are so much safer now because of you! on the foot, but those costume freaks to boot! A happy coincidence, but one for which I came fully prepared. Yo, Weasel! It's me! Let the boys know we're smoking the competition. And when I say smoking, I mean smoking! Hey, 
Hey, you really fixed this place up. Please be careful with that, Casey. What? Don't you trust me? About as far as I can throw you. I'm game if you are, babe. In your delusional dreams. No! Hey, April! No! Why do you always do that? It's a ninja thing? What are you doing here? Nothing. Just running from a bunch of foot ninja. My bros and I are in the middle of this big fight, and big I... Big fight? How come I wasn't invited? Whoa, 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 whoa. Michelangelo, you're telling me you ran into my shop, my new, just fixed up after it was blown to pieces and burned to the ground by a bunch of foot ninja shop? Because you're being chased by a bunch of foot ninja? Yeah, I was running and... and... Oh, man, what a bonehead. I can't believe I came in here. Sorry, April, I wasn't thinking. I'm gone. Hang on, Mikey. I'm coming with you. April, mind if we borrow your wheels? Absolutely, I mind. Then I guess Mikey and I can just stay here. <sighs> it's on the street. Thank you. down there. I want this area secured now. Move into position on the rooftops and bring up the heavy artillery. <laughs> on my mark. I'm holding you personally responsible. Dragons, take them down. Somebody call a cab? Yeah! Right. Awesome road warrior moves, Casey! Woohoo! You should see me at rush hour! are getting crushed! A minor setback. Although, perhaps a strategic retreat would be in order. What's this? Well, isn't this ironic? So what's with the new digs? I couldn't risk leading anyone back to the lair, so I was staying here. It should be good enough for all of us until we figure out our next move. Next move? You mean like going home and forgetting all this nonsense? We have to do something. Like what? Pour more fuel on the fire? I said it before and I'll say it again. This ain't our fight! You might want to sit. This could go on for a while. 
So whose fight is it? The innocent people caught in the crossfire? You can't save a whole city, bro, but you can make it worse by trying. So we should just forget Bushido and our entire code of honor. Where's the honor in sticking your nose where it don't belong? Nobody asked you to come. Nobody's forcing you to stay. Back off, Leo. I'm warning you. Who needs you, hothead? Yo, say the word and I'm out of here. Since when do you need my permission? You know what? You're right. Good luck in your one turtle crusade, Leo. Just try not to get these other guys iced. <laughs> I believe we have a few matters to discuss. My name is Karai, and I am here to restore order to the foot. I got your order right here, lady. Stand down, Raph. No! I'm sick of being everybody's punching bag, and I'm really sick of taking orders from you! I said stand down, Raph! to discuss a matter with you. And discuss it, we shall, with or without your leader. It is your choice. <laughs> Drop your weapons! <sighs> I 
said, drop your weapons. <clears throat> you hear the nice lady with the knife? Don't do me any favors, Raph. Good. Perhaps now we can talk. Oh, you want to talk? Because I kind of got the idea that you wanted to kick our shells. If I had wanted to destroy you, you would not be alive to talk. Okay, let's talk. But it's going to be difficult with your tanto at my head. Raph, no! I gave her my word of honor! Your honor? <sighs> Bro, you are really getting under my shell! Come on, Raph. Let's hear what the pretty ninja lady has to say. <sighs> As I told you, my name is Karai. And I command the Foot Clan in Japan. I am here to restore order to the New York faction of the Foot. When you, Turtle Men, destroyed the Shredder, you threw this city into chaos. We in Japan had hoped all parties would destroy each other, like a snake which consumes itself, leaving the city once again under the Foot's control. But we did not expect the city to be consumed in the process. If the Foot is to regain control of its New York operations, I will need your help. We done talking yet. Is it time to fight? You are impudent. If you were my retainer, I would have you beaten. Oh yeah, you're Foot all right. You even sound like the Shredder. Lady, even if we wanted to, I don't see how we could help you. This war's out of control. We're kind of in over our heads as it is. Yes, I know. But I have a plan to stop this war. Then why do you need us? All plans must have their... contingencies. Make your decision. Well, what do you think, guys? I think she can swim her butt back to Japan. I think she's perfect. Looks, brains, and she's a ninja. What does she mean by contingencies? She means we're plan B. There seems to be one thing missing from this equation. Uh, excuse me. What's in it for us? Three things. One, you can save New York from being torn apart. Two, you can free your streets of the Purple Dragons and the mob. And three, the Foot and the Foot Elite are honor bound to slay the one who defeated their master. They shall be relentless. They will destroy you, your master, and your comrades. But if you help us, there will be no revenge for the Shredder's destruction. Listen, this is the chance we've been looking for. We can set things right. It may be a deal with the devil, but at least it's a devil we know. I say we play along for now. The turtles team up with the foot? It sounds crazy. I don't know, Leo. Uh, I've heard enough. There's no way I'm teaming up with Little Miss Foot. Raph, listen to me. We all know this thing is too big for us to fix. Listening to you is what got us into this mess in the first place. We have to take this opportunity! Oh, is that the honorable thing to do? You guys can be the foot's little toes if you want, but not me. I'm out of here. You come in case? You know, Raph, I was always taught that no matter what, you fix your mistakes. I'm staying. Whatever. Well? We accept your offer of alliance. But no funny stuff! We've never had much reason to trust the Foot before. The Foot has never had to ask for aid before. Now let us begin. We haven't much time. Listen closely.
alive! But how? That is of no importance. Follow me. Our master has returned. Once again, I have made a fool of fate. I thought we were going to sleep with the fishes for sure. Let's get back into the fight. Uh-oh. Uh, how you doing, boys? Ah, hun. Don't worry. I'll make them an offer they can't understand. Gentlemen. Whoa. Oh, the Shredder. I'm doomed! I'm doomed! Master! I have work for you to do! Purple Dragons, follow me! They're leaving! We're going to live! We're going to live! <laughs> Weasel! The Shredder's back. Seems the guy doesn't know when to stay in the morgue. We are gonna own this city no matter what. Let's just see if we can put that guy down for good. Bait and are following me here. They shall arrive within minutes. They are in. For a surprise. Nice voice synth technology. You sound just like the Shredder. Hearing the Shredder's voice gives me the shivers. I don't understand how you can serve someone as evil and dishonorable as the Shredder. You knew the Shredder only as a merciless enemy. But I knew another side of him. It was he who discovered me many years ago in Japan, after my parents had abandoned me. He took me into his home. He allowed me to train alongside him. And thus I learned the art of ninjutsu. I respected him, and he trusted me. To me, he was Oroku Saki. He was more than just my master. He became my father. It was his destiny to find me. It became my duty to serve him, as it became your fate to slay him. Thus, we are all servants of fate. I'm not so sure. Master Splinter says we are free to decide our own paths, that our lives are dictated by our choices. They are here, mistress. Looks like your plan is working! So far. But one must always plan for the unexpected. That's why we're here. Yes. Now conceal yourselves, and let us see what fate awaits us. Prepare yourselves! Steady, boys! Stinks. What are we supposed to do again? Well, if Karai's plan works, nothing. She'll get the foot and hun to wipe out the mob, and then she'll get the foot and the dragons to stand down. 
the war will be over. That sounds good. And if her plan doesn't work, then it's us against all of them. Like I said, this plan kind of stinks. This war is at an end. I have returned to resume control of the city. Master Shredder, we thought you were destroyed. We serve you always. Master, I remain your servant, as will the Purple Dragons. Good. I command you to rid me of this pestilence. Yo, wait a minute. This ain't right. We want to take over Shredder's turf, not get it back for him. Traitor, you dare. Shredder, we have a saying in our family. But you'll never live to hear it. Fire! Purple dragons, take them out! Forget Hun! Every man for himself! Go! Go! Foot, protect your master! Dragon face! Catch! <laughs> Looks like our plan is going to work after all. Hey! I almost forgot, Shredder. Here's a little present from your old friend, Baxter Stockman! Sayonara! Master? Cry. To impersonate our master is sacrilege. You dishonor him! Looks like it's time for plan B. with ourselves and prepare our bodies for destruction. Funny how you didn't mention that part of the plan earlier. Stay here and see this through. The Shredder may have raised you, Karai, but you're nothing like him. How so? You understand honor. Han! Eliminate them all, and we will not forget your help when the Elite controls New York City. That's the first thing I've heard since this stupid war began that makes sense. <laughs> Well, I kind of had 
a little help. My sons, I was uh, worried we would be too late. Nah. We had everything under control. Kinda. This turtles, let us finish this. Uh. Know this seal? Yes, it is the Shredder's seal, the seal of the foot. Then you are honor bound to obey me, for I represent the Shredder. We will not. I shall keep my promise. The vendetta is lifted. The foot will not take revenge for the slaying of their master. You are honorable, Karai. I know you will keep your word. You stood with me to the last. All of you have great strength and courage. I hope in the future when our paths cross, we will not be enemies. Only fate can tell. Regrettably, fate is not the only master we must serve. Master Splinter, I'm sorry. I just had to do something and- uh... It is all right, my son. Sometimes you must follow your heart, even if others tell you not to. Thank you, Master. All is in readiness, Mistress. We are fully operational. Excellent. You may leave me now. All proceeds as planned, Master. Good. My body is prepared, and the biocytes have almost finished healing my flesh. Soon, I will be myself again. Soon, we will destroy the turtles. <laughs> north-northeast. Three degrees north-northeast, Captain. Should be smooth sailing into the harbor once we get through this fog. We hit something, sir. It wasn't there a second ago. That's impossible. <laughs> such event 
in the last month, a freighter has disappeared without a trace in New York Harbor. This brings the total number of ships mysteriously lost in this way to 15, prompting a call for an immediate Your attention, please! Let the ceremony begin! I christen thee... The Shell Sub! Excellent work, my son. It makes one think of the giant undersea turtle of Japanese mythology. Now that the underwater access way is completely finished, it's time to take the shell sub on her maiden voyage. Can I launch her? Can I? Can I? Careful, Mikey. If you even put one scratch on it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mikey. Just what I needed. Another bath. <laughs> Dibs on the first ride! <laughs> first mate Michelangelo, ready to launch, sir! Ahooga! Ahooga! Dive! Dive! Torpedoes away! Mikey's my first mate. Wish me luck. Ooh, Britannia! Britannia rules the waves! I don't know! To this stinky song. All I know is pretend. Ow! Initiating launch sequence. Release umbilical. Umbilical release. Blowing ballast tanks.
Come on, let's go. Uh, we come in peace? Forget coming in peace. I really wish we brought our weapons. So, kind of wet out today. I feel like Jonah trapped on this whale thingy. Where do you think they're taking us? I have a feeling we're about to find out. Time to kick our way out of this freak show? Not yet. We don't even know where we are. Hey! Nasty. Mikey, look! You! The garbage man? But he went into the river! In this river! Yes, this river. My river. What is all this? Silence! First rule, my friends. I talk, you listen. You know, I should thank you for setting me on this path. Dumping me in the river opened my eyes to a world of hidden treasure just waiting to be salvaged. So thank you. You're not welcome. I'm actually pleased that you're here. I've often wondered what you are. Now I'll be able to find out. Sir, our man on the dock says the target is weighing anchor. Perfect. Everything is on schedule. Assemble the men. I wish to speak to them. Take these two to the brig and hold them there. I'll want to dissect them later. <laughs> Mikey, I think now is the right time for what we talked about earlier. Sounds good to me. Yeah! Short for a junk trooper? Very funny. Come on, let's find our way out of this madhouse. You, my followers, know that I believe garbage is power and are salvaging the various wrecks and refuse littering the bottom of the sea has proven my words. We have grown in power and strength. We no longer have to only pick the leavings from the bottom. We now make our own wrecks to salvage. We have sunk ship after ship unchallenged. And our next prize awaits on the surface. A cruise ship loaded with wealth. A cruise ship? All those innocent people. And no one can stop us. No one!
Now's our chance. Come on! Hey! There's the shell sub! Let's take it and get out of here! We have to stop the garbage man from sinking that cruise ship! Come on! to send her to the bottom! Activate tentacle arms! Full speed to surface! Brace for impact! We better make our move. Now! <laughs> and voila! You're wicked! I like it.
left my stomach back there. Don't sweat it. I'll build you a new one. time you guys surfaced, we were getting worried. Whoa! What happened? Long story, guys. A very long story. What a night for Super Slam Hockey, folks! The Golden Grizzlies have the puck and are going for it! The game is tied at 3-3! The winning team gets ownership of the famed Golden Puck for a whole year! Super Slam Hockey's greatest prize! <laughs> he just got Super Slammed! And there's the shot! He Don't forget, folks! Hang on to those ticket stubs! Three lucky winners at tonight's game are going home with one of those gorgeous snowmobiles! Courtesy of Crazy Manny's Winter Wonderland Depot. I'm so crazy, I'm giving them away! He's got to be the best sport known to man. Or animals. I mean, don't you think it's kind of rough? <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it so great. You said it, Raph. To me, it's the perfect evolution of a great sport. <laughs> More importantly, the concessions are awesome. Hey. The only thing I don't like is wearing these stupid masks. What? Check it out. See? Do we look cool or do we look cool? All those who think we look cool, say I. Nay. All those who think Casey is a complete and absolute bonehead. I. The eyes have it, Case. You're a bonehead. Yeah, I'm the bonehead what got you guys these great seats. We're so close to the golden puck, you could almost reach out and touch it. The golden puck, made by some old guy a really long time ago. Actually, it says that the Golden Puck was handcrafted for Frederick Henry, a prince in 17th century Holland. He played a variation of an old Dutch game called Colvin, which some believe to be an early version of ice hockey. Like I said, some old guy really long time ago. There's the final buzzer with the score 5 to 3! The Bowery Battlers win!
Check out the fancy post-game show. A post-game show? Of military parahawks? Heads up, guys. Something's not kosher here. Looks like some fans don't want to give up their box seats. Bagger and tagger. Now let's hit the trail, boys. We got all we came for. Just a puck, Casey. Nobody was hurt. That's what's important. Just a puck! Just a puck! It's not just a puck! It's a symbol. That golden puck comes from the beginning of ice hockey and carries us forward to the future of... ice hockey! Don't you get it? It's like stealing the Empire State Building or, or... or apple pie! They have apple pie here? I gotta stop them! Think we should help Case? Getting the golden puck back feels more like something for the police to handle. Yeah, but Casey might get hurt. Or worse, Casey might hurt somebody. Where's the pie? I distinctly heard somebody say pie! <laughs> I don't believe it! My snowmobiles! They're all right! They're all right! <laughs> Okay. 
We'd better make ourselves scarce. Hang on a second. One of those yahoos tossed this. What is it? A matchbox. Compliments of the Sierra Hotel. Hey, check it out. They've got free cable movie channels. Let me see. Stay focused, guys. Got him. There's our man, Mr. Matchstick himself. Third floor, fifth room from the end. Okay, they're gone. Why don't we just ice those suckers? We have to find that golden puck first. Yeah, Case. If they know that we're onto them, it might ruin any chance we have of finding the stolen puck. But, since they were nice enough to go out... It's not here. Those cowpokes must have stashed it someplace else. We'll have to follow them. I bet they'll lead us right to it. I can't believe you left the keys to the van in the room, Robbie. Nuh-uh, Bobby's what done it. Ain't done it, you done it. Nuh-uh, you done it. Did not. Did do. Did not. something for doing a fine job. Why, thank you, Mr. Harboost. This is my brother, Robbie, and my other brother, Bobby. You boys thank Mr. Harboost now. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Harboost. Boys, I can't wait to see the faces on those suits when I tell them I got their precious golden puck. Wouldn't give me a Super Slam hockey team. Said my image was all wrong. But so what if I just got out of jail? Big deal! I want a Super Slam hockey team! And now, I got me a golden bargaining chip. Ain't that right, boys? Time to clock these clowns and get the puck? Yes. Time to clock these clowns and get the puck. Uh -huh. What in tarnation? Him. 
safe, Mikey! It's really old and stuff! It's uh, not the uh, golden puck I'm worried about! Uh. Turn it over to the authorities and call it a night. No way! Those goons are still out there! We gotta catch them and then teach them a lesson once and for all! Jimmy, this is Mr. Arboos. You read? Loud and clear. Jimmy, we need us some new transport. Pick us up at 3rd and 128. On our way. I got an idea. Come on back, Donnie Bear! We got us the golden puck and we're taking it back to the Central Park. So the authorities will find it right there where it was stolen. Uh, that's a big 10-4. Sounds like a great idea. Mr. Arboost, those morons are broadcasting on our channel. Well, lucky for us. Now we know right where the golden puck will be. Saddle up, boys. I want that golden puck. Remind me again why this was such a good idea. It wasn't a good idea. It was Casey's idea. If this plan works, I'm gonna eat my shoe. We don't wear shoes. Ow! Hand over the golden puck, son! You're gonna have to pry it from my cold, lifeless hands! Alrighty then, boys! Open season on Mr. Hero! Hold on, hold on! There's something I want you to know. I have friends! I said, I have friends! Oh. You think he's uh, sweated enough? <laughs> Hello? Friends? Remember? Now, son, you're obviously plum loco, so I don't want to waste any more time on you. What I do want is that golden puck. And I always get what I want. Well, I hope you want a whole heap in help and a butt whooping, because that's what you're going to get. <laughs> Open fire! Yo, watch it with a golden puck. It's really old and stuff. Slam, we's under attack! Buy some fellas in funny frog costumes! Well, this is New York City, boys. Right. Stay here, out of trouble. I'll be right back. Yahoo! What in the golden? Yo, fellas, catch! Come on! Oh, 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 oh,
boss hog. Now you're gonna learn what slam hockey's all about. <laughs> oh! Huh? Now, 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 hold on, son. I I'm sure we can make a deal. Deal with this! <laughs> Super slam hockey! It's the best! Thanks, guys. Saving the golden puck meant a lot to me. Forget about it, Case. But check out the final score. Ninja Turtles and Casey Jones, 17. Texas Yahoo zip. Turtles and Jones rule! Yeah! yeah. 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 I never did get any pie. Where was that stinking pie anyway? You summoned me, Master? I did. My recuperation is finally at an end. The worms have done their work. At long last, the time has arrived for my resurrection. As you command, Master. Before the world! Reborn! But we have little time to waste. The Utrams who hunted me and their accursed human guardians may have gone, but they will return in greater numbers. We must be ready. Unfortunately, my lord, we are not ready. What? Many of your followers were destroyed in the futile war for control of New York. Yes, Karai. But what we lack in numbers, we make up for in strength and loyalty. Master, it's good to see you back in action. And if you would allow me, I'd like to show you what we've been working on. First, Master Shredder, I have a little welcome back present that I hope you will enjoy. May I reintroduce you to... Baxter Stockman! This is Baxter Stockman? You've lost weight. Of course it's me! Look around you! Do you think this facility would have been possible without my genius? These imbeciles working for you have the technological savvy of Amoeba! And you've been very naughty, Stockman, betraying me once too often. You should have quit while you were. Ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Shredder, if it wasn't for my knowledge regarding your technology. One of the greatest benefits of having Baxter Stockman in this state. Allow me to demonstrate how the good doctor was induced to hand over so much of his information. Master! Where is the honor here? This misery should be put to an end, not prolonged. Do not presume to question me, Karai. Stockman is the perfect example of what happens to those who betray me. Is that clear? Yes, Master. A perfect example. Now, if I may show you your new army. These are our latest and most deadly weapons of destruction. The Foot Mix. As you know, the Ultron exosuits possess unimaginable strength and reflexes. These nine Foot Mechs are an advanced android technology based on the exosuits and upgraded with weaponry. They will be completely under your control from this command center. Nine? Why only nine? Well, these foot mechs are constructed around an Ultron biochip that's beyond our ability to create or replicate. We were only able to recover nine such biochips from what the Ultrons left behind. But nine may be all we need. Nobody else on Earth will have weapons like these. When finished, 
These two will be perfect reproductions of the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of England. And I think you'll really enjoy this one, Master. Destroy! It is perfect. We have arrived, my lord. Good. Let us test these new foot mechs. Send this one out to hunt down the turtles. Find their hiding place and destroy them once and for all. <laughs> is cracked. He's breathing our air and it's affecting his brain. The Triceraton homeworld has an atmosphere of nitrogen and sulfur, remember? Our oxygen must be making him delusional. SARS, Trooper, Zog, serial number XJ4, porting <laughs> duty, SARS! I think he thinks we're some kind of Triceraton officers or something. What should we do? Anything that might keep Big Horned and Ugly from ripping us limb from limb! Ah, uh, Eddie, soldier! Situation report! Must complete mission, sir! And what mission is that, soldier? Must capture Fugitoid at all costs, sir! My squad was pursuing target when we were caught in energy beam! <gasps> Transported to coordinates unfamiliar to this soldier. Seize it! Oh dear. Fire! Engaged Federation forces also tracking Fugitoid, and in heat of battle, became separated from my unit. Target not captured, unable to reconnect with squad. And lost weapon, sir. Request permission to terminate self for disgraceful failure of mission, sir. What? Oh, wait, no! I mean, the, uh, the Fugitoid mission was a success. Yes, you are to be commended for your, uh, survival skills. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this poor guy's breathing poison. Maybe I can rig up a temporary breather from one of the nitrogen fuel enhancer tanks on the shell sled. Hey, hold on, are you nuts so? If Hornhead here gets a clear head, he might realize that we're the enemy and wipe us out! But we can't turn our backs on him when he needs help. That's just... wrong. Here, let me hook you up, big guy. Okay, I don't know how much this'll help, but you should breathe a little easier now. <clears throat> sir, thank you, sir. My sons! My sons! 
Master Splinter! Are you okay? An intruder in our lair! I was attacked! You must take me back! Defend our home! Defend! Master, Master Splinter! Splinter! Sensei! He's hurt pretty bad. He's barely breathing. And he's cold. What do we do? We're gonna do what we're told. We're going back to the lair and... And I'm gonna kick the shell out of whoever did this to Master Splinter. What about him? We can't just leave him here. Then bring him, but let's go. Soldier, follow us! Yes, sir. Splinters in the same place? You've botched the whole thing! Back off, Stackman! Try to get the turtles to attack the rat. Accuse him of being an imposter. That is what attacked me. Destroy it! No, my sons. He is the imposter. You must believe me. Put him down now. Say what? Bah. The turtles will not be taken in by such an obvious ruse, Han. Huh? Uh. Destroy them now, while you still have the element of surprise. Yes, my lord. You heard, Master Shredder. Activate the foot mech for lethal protocols. Finish them now. Take it up to full force attack. Master Splinter. It's time to send in the reinforcements. Huh? Soldier! Engage the enemy! Sir, yes, sir! For the Republic! Soldier, mission accomplished. Definitely accomplished. What I want to know is where did Robo Splinter come from, and who sent it? It does not matter. Whoever they are, I will not stand by while they use my likeness to attack my family. We must strike back immediately. Never seen them so steamed. I'm kind of enjoying it, actually. Hey, a remote control module. If this Splinter was remote controlled, we can trace the signal. You guys, stay with the robot. I'll be right back. I need some equipment from my lab. Han, looks like uh, it might be a malfunction. Find out what went wrong. I want the turtles destroyed. Voila, a direction finder, which seems to be pointing that way. 
mission, soldier! Climb on! Sir, yes, sir! The splinter footmech has gone dark, Master. The last signal indicates that the turtles may have discovered the remote control module and have become aware of our presence. Good. Let them come, if they are foolish enough to try. It will give me great pleasure to squeeze the life out of them with my own hands. <laughs> <laughs> are coming from inside that freighter. So then it was the foot that sick that splinter robot on us. But Karai leads the foot now, and she gave us her word the foot would leave us alone. I am sorry, my son. But in this case, we must believe what we see. Something tells me we're gonna be really, really outnumbered. What we need is something to help us even the odds. Boys, meet Zog, the Equalizer! Okay, here's the plan. We'll reconnoiter the ship and see what we're up against. Ready for action, sir! Quiet, soldier! This is the recon part of the mission. We need stealth. Sorry, sir, but stealth is not one of my strong points. No, duh. We obviously can't take him in there for recon. Mikey, you stay here and watch Zog. Don, you stay here and watch Mikey. Hey! Be ready to move. We'll contact you as soon as we know what the foot are up to. Don, here's the plan. We need to blow this ship sky high. To do that, we'll have to get it out to open waters away from the city. Wrath, Master Splinter, and I will take the bridge and get the ship moving. Mikey, you and Zod cast off the mooring lines and then meet us on the bridge. Don, can you sink it? Hey, if I can't figure out a way to take out a floating foot lab that's sitting on top of thousands of gallons of diesel fuel, I might as well hang up my tool belt. Master, we have a security breach. We found several of our guards knocked unconscious. Hun, take the Elite and scour the ship. If it is the Turtles, hold them. I wish to destroy them myself. Is something the matter, Karai? No. Nothing, Master. If you will excuse me, I will put the ship on full alert. Nice work, big guy! Now let's get the front mooring! Sheesh! All these buttons and not one of them says on! 
Welcome aboard, freaks. I'll be your cruise director for the trip, and I'm happy to tell you, you'll be experiencing pain. Lots and lots of pain. <laughs> um, Mikey, now would be a good time to bring in our friend, the secret weapon. Mikey, come in. Mikey, come in! Soldier? A1, sir. Good, because the odds just got worse. Uh, Leo, when you promised me an ocean voyage, this wasn't what I had in mind. It looked so much nicer in the brochure. Engine room, about to do some creative rewiring. Yo, Baskethead! Catch! <laughs> Looks like we're getting underway. Sailing, and we didn't get that last mooring line. Never go one on one against a turtle. But I guess you guys knew that already. The ship's still moored to the dock. What's happening? Sorry, Leo, but we kind of ran into some old friends. Cast off, and then you and Zod get up here to the bridge. Soldier, clear that line for the sake of the Republic. Sir, yes, sir. Well, boys, it's been fun, but I got a boat to catch. Don't forget to ride. Zog? Zog, where are you? There. In half an hour, this floating hulk is gonna be lit up like the 4th of July. Time to get the others. Huh? Or maybe not. <laughs> Guys, there's a problem! As in a major ninja problem! <laughs> Tell me about it. his body. You're gonna wish you were never born. That's big talk for such a puny reptile. Now put down your weapons before the rat gets exterminated. No, my sons. Do not give up your weapons. <sighs> Master Splinter, I'm sorry. Good boy. Tell me where the captain's table is? Huh? <laughs> 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 
Don't bother getting up. I'll find my own way out. Stockman! Stockman! No need to shout. Stockman, I want this situation under control. I need more warriors. How soon can you have these foot mechs completed? Sorry, Shredder, but cutting edge biotech genius takes time and- Then allow me to give you a little motivation to accelerate the process. Ah! Stop it! Stop! I'm waiting! All right. The, there are four foot mechs which can function. They're incomplete, but they'll do the job. And we have the world leader foot mechs. Master, this is Hun. I have captured two of the turtles and their rat. Can I finish them? But Master, I promised them their lives. Are we not honor bound to keep that promise? Honor bound? Karai, you must learn that your duty to me is far more important than your honor. I... I understand, Master. We shall see, Karai, for you will be the one to slay the turtles. Yes, my lord. Come on! Sounds like we've got a lot more work to do! Hey, Leo. It's your buddy. Leonardo, I... I wish you had never come to this place. Now it has fallen upon me to slay you all. So much for your word of honor. I'm sorry, but I must follow my master's orders. Face it, bro. She's as bad as the Shredder. I should have known better than to trust you, Karai. Wait! Let's make this a little more interesting. Now! Show us what you've got, sword boy! Take her out, and I just might let the rat go free. I can't let you do the Shredder's dirty work without a fight, Karai. I am honor-bound to serve him. If you serve the Shredder, then you have no honor! You are wrong! I was taught that honor, Bushido, means everything to a true warrior! Uh, yeah! uh, uh, I was raised to live by that code. Can you do that? Can you live with honor? Show me. Here's your chance. Shredder's little pet doesn't have the guts to do her job. Move over, girly. Watch how things get done New York style. A lot more than it hurts me. <laughs> There's no need to fear. Michelangelo's here. <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> Don. <laughs> All right. 
For a minute, I thought I was gonna have to sit this one out! First a bunch of turtles, now a big ugly dinosaur! It's a freak show! because it went against your honor. Uh, guys, we've got about five minutes before this ship buys a one-way ticket to the bottom of the ocean. Time to go! Zog, we're moving out! Sir, yes, sir. Well, well, well. Quite a menagerie. A rat, four turtles, and a Triceraton, if I'm not mistaken. Shredder! I guess we should have known we'd meet again. Yes, but I think this will be the last time. Guys, 
We've got two and a half minutes before this place is about a thousand feet underwater! You small brained terrapin! Look what you've done to my lab! Stockman? Is that you? Man, you've really let yourself go. Woo! Stronghold at all costs. I like the way you think. Let's do it. That'll teach you to keep your claws to yourself. Oh no! We've got less than a minute to get out of here! <laughs> this is the end, Turtles! You will never get off this ship alive! This Federation worm is mine! Sacrifice! having Zog as one of us. He was a great warrior. enough. If it wasn't for you, I might never have been able to reopen the shop. Yeah, but if it wasn't for us, you'd still have the first shop. 100 bucks for this thing? It doesn't even have a monitor screen! And what's with the weird floppy disk? Uh, 
I'm telling you, it should go in the front of the store. Get your head out of your shell. It'll look way better in the back. Ah. Here, Don, let me give you a hand with that. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's it. Weapons, boys. Fork him over. But what if the foot attack? Or the Girl Scouts? Or... You can survive without your weapons for one day. Ahem. <clears throat> you know what? You're right. It should go in the front. Ugh. At last, the O'Neill family portrait can assume its rightful place once again. Who's the guy next to your dad? Him? Oh, that's my Uncle Augie. August O'Neill. <laughs> Uncle Augie was a real character. A head for figures and a heart for adventure. He used to disappear for months on end, traveling the world. We wouldn't hear a word from him. And then, suddenly, he'd just show up out of the blue with a suitcase full of trinkets and a million stories from his travels. Then one day, he just disappeared for good. <laughs> you want a piece of me, you little garbage maggot? <laughs> I hate bugs. And from the looks of it, you hate bone china teacups, porcelain figurines, and depression glass, too. Oh, you two! Away from the breakables! Garbage detail! Now! Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. What is this stuff? Just a bunch of junk that got damaged in the fire. Oh, this still looks good. I don't believe it! What is it? It's a puzzle cube that used to belong to my uncle. I can't imagine how it survived the fire. Anywhere on Earth, for that matter. Here, let me help you out. <laughs> no, really, I'm fine, <laughs> Raph. I can do it <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you think some Utrom clown hit the wrong switch on his transmat? No, this felt different. The transmat was a whoosh. This was more like a shift. If I had to guess, I'd say Uncle Augie's puzzle cube acts as some kind of dimensional gateway. I got the heady science of whoosh versus shift, but after that, you lost me. The theory goes something like this. We're all made up of atoms, and atoms are mostly made of empty space. So you could, theoretically, have parallel universes all occupying the same space, but vibrating at different frequencies. A slight shift of atoms, and presto, you're in a whole different dimension. Okay, okay, Donnie! You're making my head buzz! It's not just you, Mikey. I hear it too. We all hear it. Ah, uh, great. More bugs. Uh, show yourself, you lousy little gnat! Uh, Raph, you're gonna need a bigger fly swatter. Oh, crud. <laughs> Skeleton is usually thinnest right at the joints. 
And I should care because... Just swing me up and you'll see! Don! You all right, bro? Where's Raph? Did I mention how much I hate bugs? We'll get you down, bro. Just hang on. Like I got a choice. I spotted some kind of treehouse down the river a ways. We should check it out. Maybe someone can tell us more about where we are. You guys up for it? Oh, oh, or down for it? Ugh. Okay, but no more flying. Here we go again, we overrides. All the odds against us, another fine mess. Laughing in the face of danger, what else can you do? It's kind of crazy, the stuff that Ow. life will throw at you. But wherever we are, whatever may come, no matter how hard it gets, the day will be won. Cause we will stand together, sister and brother. In this world, you've got to beware. It's a jungle out there. Too cliche to say cowabunga in a word. Yes, whatever may happen, we're never alone. Whoa, April, where'd you get those moves? I don't know. Something about this place just brings out the jungle girl in me. It's a jungle out there. This is it, guys. Hello? Anybody home? Hmm. Maybe termites? If they're anything like that overgrown flying cockroach, I don't want to know about it. Where do you think you're going? I'm not afraid of bugs, tough guy. Don't be scared, bro. Jungle Girl will protect you. Hey, I ain't scared of nothing. I just hate bugs. You mean like that one crawling up your back right now? What? Where? Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Can't say much for the decor, but it's got great ventilation. Uh, this was my Uncle Augie's. Are you sure? I'd recognize it anywhere. Look. So you'll always find your way back to us. April, look at this. This is my uncle's handwriting. He was here, in this dimension or whatever it is. The puzzle cube must have transported him here, just like us. Day 96. My shelter is barely holding up against the attacking swarm. I fear this may be my last entry, as my life is in constant jeopardy. You know that tune. Look sharp, guys! Back off, Scuzzball! <sighs> Raph, no! If you make them mad, they'll just fire their... Stingers! <laughs> Good one, Raph! Raph? I hate bugs. Oh no, Raffy! Donnie, is he? He's paralyzed. If these are anything like Earth Hornets, the effect should only be temporary.
you like a taste of your own medicine? Good. Jungle girl? High school gymnastics. Oh, it's stupid. Feeling Bugs. back to your old self, bro? Bugs. Ugh. Bugs must pay! Definitely back to his old self. Guys, I found something. Or my uncle did anyway. There's a temple somewhere to the northeast. Here, listen. Day 130. I followed the river until I came upon a grey stone temple. Magnificent. Deep within a chamber, at the center of the pyramid, was a large puzzle cube. Identical in shape and form to the device that transported me to this savage realm. It may be my only way home, if I can just determine how to correctly position the cube. Day 145, I believe I've finally cracked the secret of the Puzzle Cube. Unfortunately, since my first journey to the Pyramid, the giant hornets have begun constructing their nest on the side of the structure. The journey will be dangerous, but I must try to reach the cube. I leave behind this journal and my compass pendant should any other poor soul end up in this infernal place. Heaven help you. Heaven help you all. That's all he wrote. The rest is just calculations. Looks like your uncle was trying to decipher the cube mathematically. We need to get to that temple and find out what happened to him. If we can piece together his notes, we might be able to program the puzzle cube to send us home. Then it's settled. We head out for the temple first thing in the morning. Your uncle's calculations seem to indicate a logarithmic correlation in an otherwise stochastic deviation. Of course! The algorithms follow a variation on a Fibonacci sequence. Do you guys come with subtitles? Guys, look! What I wouldn't give for a can of bug spray. A really big one. I think I know how we can get past them. Hornets and other wasps have a strong sense of smell. We need to disguise our scent. Whew. Do we have to disguise him that bad? I think you may be taking this jungle girl thing a little too seriously. I sure hope this is worth having Mikey downwind. Whew. We're about to find out, cause here they come! They're leaving! Old factory principle proven! <sighs> Looks like the hornets have tunneled their nest right into the temple. So, how come no one's mining the eggs? These aren't eggs. They're pupae, second stage development. And from the looks of them, I'd say they're nearly fully formed adults. Weapons ready. Let's move out. Nice going, Mikey. Everybody, move! Bugs, 
This time it's personal! <laughs> Here. That's odd. The settings on the cube don't match the coordinates in your uncle's journal. Wherever it sent him, it wasn't home. You're right. Something must have happened while he was setting the final coordinate. But what? You had to ask. It's the Queen. I don't care if it's Queen Latifah. You guys need to get that cube fired up! Two seconds and suddenly everyone's covered in crud? So, uh, let me get this straight. You defeated the giant Hornet Queen all by yourself? Like I said, something about that place just brought out the jungle girl in me. Not that I'm in a big hurry to go back there. But I will find you someday, Uncle Augie. I swear it. General Genocide's malevolent mechanical marauders are no match for the Justice Horse! I'll make fast work of these lumbering tin cans, or my name's not Sippy Lad! You rusted ruffians should know better than to tangle with Joey Elastic and Metalhead! It feels so strange to be back with the team after being gone for so long! I just don't know if I can do this! Stainless Steve still keeps me at a distance. He only ever sees me as Batman Bernice. But we could be so much more. And even though Dr. Dome still has feelings for me, he'd never forgive me if he knew my secret. Steve! Dome! Look out! Bernice! No! Did he continue? Oh, man! I just gotta know if Battling Bernice survived! And does she end up with Stainless Steve or Dr. Dome? Uh, Michelangelo? A ninja's greatest strength is patience. And you are quickly trying mine! You don't understand, Sensei! Now I'm gonna have to call every comic shop in town to find that next issue! I am trying to meditate, to quiet my mind and calm my spirit. Isn't it 
Right, Sensei? With all this downtime we've had lately, I made shell cycles for all of us. Wanna try it out? Another time, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Justice Force issue 137! What? No! 137! My sons! For the next hour you will practice your ninja silence. Understood? Excellent suggestion. Really? I think it would be good for all of us if you got out of the city for a bit. I can't believe it! No one in this city has a copy of Justice Force number 137. You should try my guy Steve's comics. If the book exists, he'll have it. Of course, he's all the way up in Northampton. Road Trip! We're in luck, guys. It's costume day. You'll blend right in. So what are you supposed to be? Wait, don't tell me. You're one of the fantastic Terrapin Warrior teens. Uh. Huh? Huh? Hey, Casey, can you spot me some cash? I have to get this. Weird looking dude, even for this room. Sorry, friend. Justice Force number 137 doesn't exist. No way! I gotta know what happened to Battling Bernice! She didn't make it. What? How do you know? I remember like it was yesterday. She sacrificed herself to save Dr. Dome and Stainless Steve. The Justice Force disbanded shortly after that. Boy, this guy takes this stuff seriously. <laughs> This steel saucer on my noggin. <gasps> and you're the real stainless Steve Steel. Mm -hmm. And those are real domoids. <laughs> Think I strained something. <laughs> One fella I know with the brain power to run those domoids. And that's old Doc Dome himself. But wasn't he one of the Justice Force too? Doc Dome's always blamed the rest of us for the demise of battling Bernice. It was only a matter of time before his hatred turned to madness and revenge. The Justice Force emergency signal? Been carrying this around for almost 40 years. I never thought I'd have to use it again. I can't believe Dr. Dome would turn evil. Uh, ooh, you can't ignore the facts, Mikey. You'd be amazed at what he can ignore. Uh, Steve? You leave your door open? Some old dude. Old? Whoa. Ow! Watch who you're 
you're calling old, Slowpoke. Awesome! It's Zippy Lad! You're looking well, Zip. No, I'm not. I'm a mess just like you. Right here, fellas. I just need to... <sighs> stretch out is all. <sighs> Did someone say stretch? <laughs> What's the matter, Pops? Not as Joey elastic as you used to be? I'll retract eventually. Just takes a little longer than it used to. Are these guys awesome or what? It's like we're a part of history. Yeah, ancient history. Nothing like a super speed massage to work the cakes out of your back. Thanks, Zippy. I feel decades younger. Now we need to figure out how we're gonna stop Doc Dome. Ah, there it is. I've been wondering, why did battling Bernice quit the team for a year? She never said. But I always suspected it had something to do with Doc Dome. Guys, something's on the roof. Massage did wonder, Zippy. Fastest hands in the West. Speaking of which. What the? Hey! Let me down! Zippy! Uh, oh no! Zippy! Joey! We're getting away! Not for long. I planted turtle trackers on the old guys earlier, just in case. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Let's roll! Whoa, that's one mighty big dome. Doc Dome's fortress. Look at all those domoids. We're in luck. Doc Dome isn't controlling them right now. See those flashing blips in their domes? That means they're in automated defense mode. They'll attack anything that moves that doesn't give off one of those signals. Then we'll just have to give off one of those signals. if we get our heads bashed in by a hundred domoids. Metalhead! Doc Dome will pay for this. Now let's not jump to conclusions. I've read too many comic book stories where things are never what they seem. Cool! Doc Dome! Surrender, Stainless Steve. You and your reptile flunkies may have succeeded in kidnapping the others, but you won't get Dr. Dome without a fight! You dare accuse us of your twisted scheme, Dr. Dome? 
This is your lab. These are your domoids. If you won't admit your treachery, then perhaps your captives will. Strange dream! Dr. Dome! You traitor! What? No! He's the traitor! Can't you see he's trying to frame me? Impossible! Only you could have unleashed those domoids! They only respond to your telepathic commands! I haven't used the domoids in years! All that mental control was giving me super migraines! And isn't it convenient that you were present for all the kidnappings, yet you yourself were never kidnapped? Yeah, why is that, Steve? Guys, you... you don't really think... You could never hide your jealousy! You couldn't stand the fact that battling Bernice loved me and not you! Are you out of your glass-encased mind? Battling Bernice couldn't stand you! She quit the team for a year just to get away from you! Don't you ever say her name! Guys! Stop! Your friends! Teammates, remember? Who saved you from the living volcano? And who cured you of that creeping alien rust? Now, what do you say we work together like the Justice Force and find out who's really behind this? Aha! The Domoids only glow like that when he's mentally controlling them! Let's put a stop to this now! Alright, Crystal Ball! Call off your attack bots! But I tell you, I'm not controlling them! If I was, then my dome head would be red too! If you're not controlling them, then who is? I am. <gasps> Battling Bernice? Alive? How's that possible? Nobody stays dead for very long in comic books. Look closer, Dome. What do you see? I see the woman I love, and just as young? You should be older. You're not battling Bernice. That's right. I'm her daughter, Ananda. You're lying. I would have known if Bernice had a daughter. She didn't want anyone to know. That's why she quit the team when she did. But you pulled her back in. All of you. And now I will have my revenge on those who took my mother away from me. <laughs> not so fast, lady. But how are you able to control all my robots? I thought you would have figured that one out by now, Daddy. <laughs> That's right. I inherited all of your mental powers. I took control of your lab and your domoids, and abducted your teammates, knowing everyone would blame you for the kidnappings. Nothing would have been more satisfying to me than watching you all destroy each other. But now I'll just have to destroy you all myself. <laughs> Daddy, 
You're old and you're weak. Everyone concentrate your attack on Amanda! There's too many of them. We can't even get close to her. No! Wait! Don't concentrate your attack! Split her focus in as many directions as possible! Mikey, are you sure? Trust me! Here, let me help you, daughter. Ananda, look at me. No one forced your mother back into the Justice Force. She chose this life, and she chose to give her life to save others. But you still have one parent who's very much alive, and wants to be a part of your life. I can't thank you fellas enough for your help. This could have easily ended in tragedy, but it looks like things will turn out okay. Thanks to this young whippersnapper. How do you ever come up with such a clever strategy? Don't you remember? That's how you defeated the Grim Repo in issue 57, when he took possession of Dr. Dome's brain. Well, what do you know? Mikey's comic book geekdom turned out to be good for something. Hey, Mikey. Official Justice Force Super Secret Signal Device? Consider yourself an honorary Justice Force member. Awesome! Yahoo! Now that's a satisfying ending. Master Splinter. I don't get it. Why was Master Splinter working out so hard? He's been acting kind of wacko for a month now. My sons, I will be leaving you for a few days. While I am gone, I want you to be extra cautious. So do not leave the lair until I return. Leonardo, you are in charge. You keep an eye on the others. But where are you going, Sensei? Do not worry. I will return soon. Again, I pose the question. What's up with Master Splinter? I don't know, but don't you guys remember? He went away like this three years ago. Yeah, but... Where? Maybe he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> Ow! Hey! There's one way to find out what Master Splint is up to. We follow him. He said we're not supposed to leave the lair. He also said you need to keep an eye on us. So you keep an eye on us while we keep an eye on him.
That was freaky. It's rock solid. Yeah, like your head. Maybe there's a door here or something. You know, the chanting was familiar, but the symbols, I've never seen those before. Then, it looks like Sensei's given us the slip. Maybe, maybe not. Sensei also taught us where there's a will and some UV lighting, there's always a way. Nice going, Donnie. You got any chalk in your magic bag of tricks? That ought to do it. All right, Leo, give it a shot. Here goes nothing. Did it work? No way! You know, maybe this isn't such a great idea after all. Coming, guys? Definitely not Earth. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's some sort of world between worlds. Between dimensions, even. A nexus. Yeah, you mean like some point of overlapping subspace commonality? What? Donnie's not the only turtle that watches Star Trek, you know. Heads up, guys! Another one of those doors is opening! Hold on. Maybe they mean us no harm. You a sane, fearless leader? Just a little shot. Yikes! My katanas! Leo's got the right idea! Get in close on these bozos! Preliminary group match completed in 54.3 Quagons. The Gom Tai are eliminated from the competition. Now, if you slon tags will. Slon tags? You. You talking to us? <laughs> wait. Wait a moment. This is not correct. There has been some mistake. The Gontai were to fight the Slontags, not you Earthers. In fact, the only Earther registered is Hamato Splinter. Hamato Splinter? Master Splinter? Where is he? This is not as it should be. Now I must reschedule the match between the Gontai and the Slontags. What the shell was that all about? I don't know and I don't care. The sooner we find Master Splinter, the sooner we can blow this popsicle stand. Well, at least the Gyoji is familiar. All I remember about the Gyoji is he works for that creep, the ultimate ninja. I bet Master Splinter has the 411 in all this. He seemed to know a whole lot more about what was going on with that ultimate ninja business than he was telling. Man, if I see that ultimate ninja, I'm gonna... gonna... What the shell?! Uh, uh, sensei! sensei! <laughs> Hang on, Sensei! We're coming! <laughs> 
Battle Nexus rules clearly state that there can be no external interference between contestants. <laughs> Disappointed. I'm sorry, Sensei, but I just... Don't blame Leo, Master Splinter. I... kinda... talked him into it. <laughs> Victory for Hamato Splinter of Dimension Third Earth! <laughs> Protect Master Splinter! Oh, no, no! The Jin is not an enemy. <laughs> Well fought, comrade. I had such hopes of beating you. And you almost did, old friend. It was a most valiant contest. Domo arigato. You four should be honored to have won such a splinter as your sensei. He is something of a legend here. He is? By Wodai's hammer, do you mean he hasn't told you? <laughs> oh, this is rich. Too rich. <laughs> Please. Allow me to tell you a story about your sensei. I really rather you would not bother, old friend. It's no bother, comrade. Listen up, young ones. Down through the centuries and across the multiverse, the greatest warriors have always searched for great challenges. And so it came to pass that this place was born, a nexus where beings from a multitude of different worlds could pit themselves against worthy challengers. The Battle Nexus Tournament, where a warrior can prove himself to be one of the mightiest and most skilled martial artists of all creation. <laughs> Your Sensei Sensei was once a Battle Nexus champion. And not long after that, your master entered the competitions as well. He surprised and impressed many with his courage, skill, and honor. But his successes led him to a final battle with one of the fiercest of all the fighters, Draco. <laughs> His leg was broken in the battle, and it looked hopeless. The match was halted, and Splinter was given the chance to forfeit. But he would not. He was allowed to splint his leg and continue the contest. Vantong's fist! Not even I believed it when Splinter managed to triumph over Draco! Broken leg and all. Truly, he was the best of the best that day. Splinter was the new champion of the Big Brawl! Wow! Our sensei? The greatest warrior of all the multiverse? It was nothing. This is huge! I won the competition, that is all. It's like finding out your dad is Superman! Ah, but wait, there's more. Dark deeds were afoot that day.
champion. You think yourself my better? Think again. Mystical war staff until Drago fled like the coward he is. He has not been heard of since. Wow, it's all so cool. We are honored by your return, Sensei. It is I who am honored. I cannot tell you what a pleasure it is to see my good friend in the ranks of gallant warriors. And now, your sons are here to compete. This is truly a great day. <clears throat> they were supposed to stay at home. <clears throat> Noble Damio, the four Earthers were not registered properly. However, they did win a match in the qualifying round. Excellent! Then by my decree, they shall be entered into the contest. If you deem it acceptable, my friend. Hmm. I thought perhaps that they were not ready to compete. But perhaps fate is showing an overprotective father that his sons are growing up. They may enter. Can you see that? Yeah. Now that that is happily settled, I have an important point of honor that must be addressed. By my son. What is this? Some kind of trick? No trick. I swear it. Honored Sensei, I know that when last we met, I challenged Leonardo to a mortal duel. It was a rash act, and I humbly apologize for my unwarranted actions upon your family. I beg your forgiveness. Look who's turned over a new leaf. Your apology is most gracious. We accept. I'm sorry, Sensei, but I don't think I can compete. My swords... They were broken. Father, we must help him. Of course. We have an exemplary palace swordsmith. Fear not. The Gyoji will see to it that your swords are repaired and brought to you. As you wish, my lord. Come. The next stage of the tournament is about to begin. Traveled from the multitude of diverse universes, and I bid you welcome to the Battle Nexus Tournament! To those who have fallen in battle, I salute your bravery and courage. And to those who have passed the preliminary round, I say congratulations! Embrace yourselves for the combat to come! For now is the time! Let the next round of the Battle Nexus Tournament begin! Let me see! Oh, wow! Whoa. Please, my friends, allow me to escort you to your next arena. As you see around you, this is the pavilion of past champions, something of a hall of fame. Here are two statues that may interest you. Wow! Awesome! Imagine! Our sensei and his sensei have statues in the Hall of Fame! Come, we must go. Guys, if it would be alright, I'd like to stay here a minute. I'll catch up later. Remember, Leo, don't touch anything! You break it, you bought it, bro! Go on, I'll be right behind you.
seek to become Battle Nexus Champion. Prepare yourselves! Hey guys, it is Traximus, that gladiator from the Triceraton homeworlds. Imagine Traximus being here. This place just gets wilder and wilder. Where is Leonardo? The tournament will start soon. Do not worry, Splinter Sensei. I am sure Leonardo will be along any moment now. Sorry, Master Yoshi. Where did everybody go? What? You fight without honor, assassin! You are right, warrior. Thanks for saving my shell. You are welcome, Kappa. I am Leonardo, and I am in your debt. I am Miyamoto Usagi, a ronin and a competitor in the Battle Nexus tournament. I was passing by when I saw you set upon by those dishonorable assassins. Lucky for me. Luck has very little to do with it. It is about skill and control of your energies. Your mind and your weapon must be as one, or you will certainly perish. Yeah, I know. My sensei is always telling me the same thing. Any other advice? Yes. Duck. Who are these guys? your help, Samurai. Do not thank me yet, warrior. Fate may pit us against each other in the tournament. I have to tell you, Usagi-san, the way you fight, I'd rather not go up against you if I can help it. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. Master Leonardo, your swords have been repaired. I trust you will find them worthy. <sighs> thank you. You two must hurry. The next stage of the Battle Nexus Tournament is about to begin. Good luck, Leonardo-san. And to you, Samurai. Ah, Genosuke. I am surprised to see you here. Mm, why is that? 
I did not think you went in for contests of honor. Honor? <laughs> no, I'm not in it for honor. I'm in it for the money. Just between you and me, I've placed a huge wager on myself to win. I can let you in on the action if you want. It's a sweet deal. You could clean up. No, thank you. But good luck. Or should I say good fortune with your wager? You will never change, Jen Chan. Why would I? You don't change perfection. Yo, Leo! I thought you weren't gonna show! What took you, bro? I ran into trouble in the Pavilion of Past Champions. I got attacked. Attacked? Are you alright? I'll survive. This is terrible. I will look into the matter at once. The time has come. Be brave, my sons. And, more importantly, be careful. Let the contest begin! Ring boy! <laughs> 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 
Let me live this down. Champions, I commend you on your victories thus far. And now, prepare yourselves. The next round, Tier 2. Leonardo still lives. Forgive us, young lord. We will not fail you again. Good. Because next time the price for failure will be your lives. The task ahead is very grave. I can afford no further blunders. Prepare yourselves and your brothers. Now be gone. Perhaps the destruction of Leonardo is premature, my lord. Should you not first secure the throne? You dare question me? Do not forget your place, Counselor. Yes, my lord. You know I'm only trying to serve you. And as your Counselor, I must advise patience. More patience? <laughs> I have suffered enough in the name of patience. I have bowed before them. I have begged their forgiveness as my father wished. But now, my time has come. I will take the throne from my father, and I will become the supreme Damio of the Battle Nexus. And I will make the Turtles and their Rat Master pay for their insolence to me with their lives. Deliver a finishing blow to end the match. Master Splinter! I... I... Thanks, Sensei. Ah, Splinter-san. I see the master of ninjutsu lost to the father in you. Yes, I suppose so. It is just that if my sons can win, I do not wish to stand in their way. 
I'm kind of sad to have to be the one to knock you out of the tournament, Traxmas. I think perhaps you're mistaken, Raphael. I feel sorry to have to be the one to knock you out of the tournament. Stay down, little one, or you may get hurt. Thanks for the advice, Trax, but you better take it yourself. Hey, yo! It's just like you said, Usagi-san. We have to fight each other. Fate often has such a wry sense of humor. Come, let us fight as friends and may the best swordsman win! should be proud to have raised such fine warriors and sons. Yes, I am proud. Though they can be a little too willful at times. Uh, if only fathers could make their sons understand, we're only trying to protect them from their own inexperience. <sighs> I know exactly what you mean, old friend. But tell me, there is something familiar about this samurai my son Leonardo faces. He should look very familiar to you. He is the same young samurai in training that came to your aid when Draco ambushed you some years ago. He is already a ronin at such a tender age, but his sword arm is skilled far beyond his years. Excuse me, I must attend to a small matter. Will you join me later when this bout is over? It would be my honor, Damyo. <sighs> You're gonna have to be quicker than that, Dino Boy. <laughs> been a worthy opponent, Raphael. This is a battle I won't soon forget. Yeah, I guarantee you won't. against this rash course of action. Your counsel has been heard and overruled. Now keep silent. I command it. Yes, my damn you. And so, it is time for Leonardo to suffer for his past effrontery. Here. Something is terribly wrong. Hmm. His breathing is shallow. This warrior will require a healer at once. The match will be nullified, pending a thorough investigation of this incident. Very well. But I insist you let me accompany him to the healer's pavilion. And I insist you get your paws off my brother! Please, I only wish to help Leonardo. 
done. It's all right. <laughs> Come, the healer awaits. They will be an example. All shall fear me as master of the multiverse. Wise and beloved master healer, an honored warrior has need of your gifts. Bring him to me quickly. What's with the Vulcan mind meld? Vulcan mind meld? What is the healer doing to Leo? Oh, he is merging with your brother's spirit in order to determine the exact nature of his malady. My son! Oh, my son! What has happened here? He has been poisoned. But the source of the toxin eludes me. Leonardo poisoned? What fiend would do such a thing? Rest assured, Splinter Sensei, I will personally get to the bottom of this atrocity. Stay with your brother, Donatello. I will return shortly. I must speak with the Damio. What is keeping my son? His message said this was an urgent matter. What is the meaning of this? Guards! The following warriors will advance to the final rounds of competition. Aya of Dimension Griblieps, Zat of Dimension Senate Yunul, Raphael of Dimension Third Earth, Gen of Dimension Second Earth, Claw of Dimension Levra, Michelangelo of Dimension Third Earth, Dicegrad of Dimension Ibrick. The seven finalists are to meet at the base of the Pyramid Arena in exactly one Mega Quagon. How long is a Mega Quagon? Long enough to see me dominate the finals, bro. High three! Leo and Donnie must be kicking themselves for not making the cut. But of course, I would never be so unsportsmanlike as to rub it in their faces. I would. <laughs> me too. Let's go find them. Damio! Away from the Tomio. Now! We have the intruder, my lord. Wait, you misunderstand. Father! No! Take him to the healer's pavilion at once. My father trusted you, vermin. He called you friend, and you betray him thus? Splinter. See how he points to the assassin? Throw this rat in the dungeon! Touching him, please. I only wish to examine your brother. I mean no harm. 
Go ahead, but I'll be watching. If you would be so kind as to hold this for me, like so. Observe. What is it? It is the entry point of a dissolving poison dart, a rarely used weapon nearly impossible to detect, even by a trained healer. Now that we have located the source of the toxin, I have some medicine that might help. With your permission. All we can do now is wait. Make way! Battle Nexus finalist coming through! That's right! Feast your eyes on Mikey the Magnificent! Defeater of some of the greatest warriors in all creation! Will you give it a rest already? Psst. Hey, Turtles, care to place a wager on me for the next round? I'm the odds on favorite at three to one. Beat it, Rhino. Find some other sucker. Wait, what are the odds on me? The long shot. <laughs> 200 to one. Long shot? Moi? Whoa, I gotta get in on that action. Hey, Raph, come on, break me off some bank. Forget it, bro. And you can stick your horn in someone else's business, Rhino. Your loss, Reptile. Hey, hey, hey! What were you thinking? 200 to 1! We can clean up! Lose your shell, more likely. Uh, hey! What? You don't think I'm a contender? You think I'm a bum? A cream puff? A lightweight? A loser? You can stop me any time here. I will when I disagree with you. Now let's go find Leo, Don, and Splinter. Right! We wouldn't want him to miss my incredible Battle Nexus triumph! Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee! Who be the turtle? The turtle be me! <laughs> Oops. Sounds like the universal language of, I'm gonna kick your butt to me. Yeah? Well, if you weren't such a puny little shrimp, I'd show you how a real Battle Nexus champion fights. remain so calm in the face of such serious charges. I could never bring harm to the Damyo, as you should know. All too well, for it is I who ordered the attack on my father. Oh yes, even as we speak, your friend the Damyo lies in the healer's pavilion, not long for this world. And your son Leonardo lies there as well. Poisoned by my hand. My father forced me to bow before you and your sons. Now you will bow before me, for I am the Damio now. You will never earn that title. You know nothing of honor. Honor? Uh. This has nothing to do with honor, little rattling. This has to do with power. <laughs> power and vengeance. Draco. Yes, I'm pleased you remember me. How's the leg? <laughs> Did you know that where I come from, puny little shrimp is actually a term of endearment? My brothers call me that all the time. Isn't that right, Raph, you puny little shrimp? If you're looking for help from me, you're looking in the wrong place, Mikey. Attend! Attend! The final stage of the Battle Nexus Tournament is about to begin! Welcome, noble warriors, to the final stage of the Battle Nexus Tournament! Before we begin, all matchups will be determined by random lottery. However, Due to a disqualification, we are left with an uneven number of combatants. Therefore, the odd warrior will automatically advance to the next level. You're in luck, Mikey. Warriors don't get any odder than you. 
Enjoy this. We're talking a lifetime's worth of get-backs here. Yes, I advanced to the semi-finals. <laughs> you should have bet on me while you had the chance, fools. Wait, I changed my mind. I think I want to fight the purple guy. You wouldn't consider forfeiting like Master Splinter, would you? Uh -huh. ah! I'll take that as a no. Somehow, making you lose focus, messing up your concentration, finally getting on your nerves, perhaps? <sighs> or maybe you're just a teensy bit worried that I might actually beat you. Final four? And I'm out? What if... What if... What if Mikey actually wins? What if he becomes the Battle Nexus champion? He'll never let me live it down, and I'll never be able to live with myself! Defeat is a harsh mistress, my friend. Draximus? Care to drown your sorrows in a Cerosian liquid protein supplement? This one's on me, Raphael. I never got the chance to properly thank you and your brothers. For what? My freedom. Back in the arena on the Triceraton homeworld, the mayhem you and your brothers caused when you kidnapped the Prime Leader allowed my compatriots and I to escape. That Triceraton gladiator world was a messed up place, huh? I'm afraid things have grown far worse. The Federation and the Triceraton Republic have escalated their senseless war to insane proportions. Many have perished in this senseless conflict. I have come here mainly hoping to find recruits to help me overthrow the Triceraton Republic and the Prime Leader's corrupt regime! Although it seems not even the Battle Nexus is immune to corruption, I hear word of an attempt on the Damyo's life by some cowardly assassin rat. Did you say rat? Goes by the name of Shard, or Sliver. Or Splinter? That's my sensei, and he's definitely no assassin. What else have you heard? Only that he was caught in the act and imprisoned in the palace dungeon. No way! It's gotta be a frame-up. I'm gonna bust him out right now! Raphael, that is a rash, foolhardy, and extremely dangerous act. Count me in. Oh, 
What are you doing? Our orders were to end the Damyo's life. And so we shall. But we will make it look as if the turtle creature finished the work his master started. Be alert, Donatello-san. I have encountered these assassins before, and they are extremely skilled and dangerous. Ah! You can say that again! Very well. They are extremely skilled. And dangerous. to my friend Usagi. And I believe I have something of yours, Donatello. Why did you attack the Daimyo? Who are you working for? Usagi, we can't get information from them if they're out cold. My apologies, Donatello-san. <laughs> now, tell us who you serve, assassin, or feel the wrath of my blade. Usagi, do you get the feeling he knows something we don't? Donatello. I get the feeling we are in for the fight of our lives. We must protect the Damio. And if we can't? And we shall perish with honor. Let's try and leave the whole parish bit out, okay? Warriors and noble creatures, it is a sad office that I must perform. The healers say my father, our revered Damio, will not live. But we must continue the Battle Nexus tournament. It is what my father would have wanted. It is with a heavy heart that I assume his place and his duties. We have our final four combatants hoping to compete to become the Battle Nexus champion. And so I say, in honor of my father, let the Battle Nexus Tournament proceed! <laughs> Gyoji, I must attend to affairs of state. Continue the contest. Yes, young master. 
Step through the portal. Fate will pair you randomly. Fight well and with honor, warriors. Well, here goes nothing! and give me your father's war staff. Patience, Draco. Patience. The staff is in a safe place, and I will give it to you only when all is done, and I am officially declared Damio. <sighs> My patience, young lord, is at an end. So what's it gonna be? I already told you. I, I don't know where this Master Splinter is. I guess there's no reason for me to keep my hungry friend from eating you. <laughs> Go ahead, Traxy. Dig in. No, no, wait. Don't eat me. Your master splinter is being held in the palace dungeon. <laughs> Stop, assassins! Feeling better, Leonardo san. Maybe not better, but at least I'm breathing. Good. Now let us finish these foes. Donnie! Incoming! What a front door is out. How good are Triceratons at climbing? Why do I get the feeling that I'm in too deep? Let's just hope it's not six feet deep! I wonder if it's too late to change my bets and put it all on this guy. Look, you're obviously a marginally intelligent warrior. I stand to rake in serious cash if I can win this thing. Uh, I could cut you in for 20%. 60-40? Uh, 
hell you want. I'll cut you in 50-50. Top half and bottom half, or maybe right half and left half. No need to be a jerk about it. <laughs> 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 I came, I saw, I kicked butt! You gotta be kidding me! I have to fight the big, ugly purple guy? Contestants in the Battle Nexus Tournament are Kla of Dimension Levram and Michelangelo of Dimension Third Earth. Okay, that was subtle. Yo, Traxmas. Bring the curtain. I got an idea. Now to fulfill my destiny. What? Ah, Draco. I knew you would betray me. I simply wanted to see the look on your face as you failed to achieve your plans. And now, you will pay for your treason with your life. What? The war staff? It fights me? You always were an incompetent fool. It's a shame, really. You should have spent more time learning how to use the war staff. I, on the other hand, have spent years of my life studying its ways and its immense power! Question the captive. By order of the new Domio, none shall pass. Hey, watch you with those pig stickers. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's old stick, but it works. Master Splinter! Raphael, my son. Allow me. Saraton. Master Splinter, what the shell is going on around here? This place is crazy. I will explain on the way, but now we must hurry. We must get to the Damio and Leonardo. Begin! Get ready for pain, little turtle. Lots and lots of pain. Ah. Has anybody ever told you that purple looks good on you? It says... Rage! I'm going to crush you, turtle boy! <laughs> so, still believe yourself destined to be Damio of the Battle Nexus? <laughs> Persuade you of that notion once and for all. Draco, 
You fool! That war staff is my birthright! Hold the contest! Battle Nexus rules clearly state. Any more rules you'd like to state? You must be strong, Daniel. There is an urgent matter which needs your attention. Draco has returned? The war staff. In Draco's hands, it must not be. The war staff focuses power from the heart. If true evil uses it, there's no telling what horrors it might unleash. Come, we must stop him. Draco, stop! What? What is happening? No, Draco! With his evil heart, Draco has torn a rift between the worlds. A multi-dimensional wound that will destroy all it touches. The war staff. I must have it. What? No! No! My war staff! It will be mine! <laughs> Perhaps he is not completely lost. The multiverse holds many mysteries. There is always hope. Perhaps. But come, gather your sons. I must let you go home. 
It was an honor battling beside you and your brothers, Leonardo. I hope that someday our paths will cross again. It is I who am honored, Usagi. You saved my life. Farewell, and good battle to you all. See ya later. Ta-ta for now! Farewell, my friend. Live with honor. We're home. Wow, it's almost like it never happened. Oh, it happened, and I have the trophy to prove it. Check it out. See what it says? Battle Nexus Champion, which is me, the greatest warrior of the transdimensional multiverse, which is me. You only won on a technicality. Um, technically, I kicked your sorry butt in one of the bouts, remember? Yes, it is good to be home. traced the transionic particle beam from the Fugitoid's teleportation. The final destination is the third planet from the sun. Excellent. Prepare for a full-scale invasion. We will crush the inhabitants of that world and claim the Fugitoid for the glory of the Triceraton Republic! <laughs>